so when we last left off, um, you guys had um, taken a cab ride down s south from Midpoint. Uh, you t you went up, walked off your cab uh, and eventually started heading into uh, the grasslands and eventually found uh, what looked like an abandoned um, farming area. Uh, but it was in the process of being claimed by someone other than the farmers that it had abandoned it or had been killed. It's unclear what exactly happened to the farmers. And you ran into a, uh, a group of orcs. Um, because you were pretty sneaky, you actually managed to surprise them as they were crouched down in, in, into the, uh, the tall wheat and corn sort of overgrowth. Um, after some negotiation, you traded the the, the wizard you kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. am saying it, you, you, he didn't exactly want to go with you guys. He was happy staying in midpoint, but you forced him to go along anyway. You traded the wizard you kidnapped for a for, for an orc woman uh, to be your guide to be a guide into the nearby woods. And that's how you know that we're good people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Hilga, Sorry. And has, um, you know, she, she set up a little campsite for you inside the woods, you know, brought you some, some fresh kills and started, like, you know, a campfire meal. She apparently has cooking skill. And you guys got to taste roast rabbit. And a few, uh, random uh, scavenged, uh, roots and tubers. Uh, not like the pro process stuff, the majority of you, except for, of course, the Catwoman, uh, would have gotten back home. Yeah. Yeah. Catwoman is the only one who is not from um, Mlaren and is, you know, not used to... It, it wouldn't be used to the type of food that they have in Mlaren. Is... So this is still pretty rustic, even for her. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Just starts playing with the food. <laughs> If you're not going to eat it, I'll take it. Uh, I'm, say, I'm, I'm just making sure it's dead. Takes a huge bite of rabbit. It's dead. It's dead. Mm, nibbles. I'd also like to point out its name's not Jordan. You don't have to play with it anymore. Its name's not Jordan? What? Was it Jordan or James that's the name of the rant, the NPC that we're torturing? James, but he's not here Jason. anymore. The, the, the wizard, Jason. The, the wizard Jason. Jason. Yeah, but he's that's gone cool. now, so... Nori. And looks at so what is actually our plan? What are we doing about this? Finding the oh. source of the necromancy. <sighs> yes, and that right now involves checking out the forest. Okay. There are all the ruins throughout the forest. Back then, so lots of places to hide. This, this area. How dark is it? No evening. So it's dark out. Okay, well, I mean, I have dark vision anyway because of the Uh, thank you. Mm, can I try and climb up a tree? I am the one that doesn't have dark vision. If we level up, I'll get it, but I don't have it yet. I don't think I have it either. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I, I keep forgetting your turtles, so yeah, turtles don't have that either. I want to take my fried rabbit up a tree. Sure, roll uh, either an athletics or acrobatics check. Yeah. Racial climb. They don't need to. Oh, racial climb? Oh, that's right. Racial climb. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, uh yeah, right. Did it well anybody. Yeah, you stick the uh, rabbit in your mouth and you scramble up the tree of your claws. Yeah, I'm sleeping up here tonight. Uh, the orc woman watches you go and then looks over at the the rest of the party. She glances at the turtle, kind of tilts her head a bit, and 
Then looks over the uh, the lizard, uh, sorry, the lizard, uh, the kobold. Quite some usual companions. She talking to Keen. She's talking to all of you, really. She's she looks at Keen. She looks at Salula. Keen just shrugs and says, "I didn't pick my friends. Uh, they got assigned to me." <laughs> I mean, same for everybody. We we didn't. Our boss just called us into an office and said, "You you guys are going somewhere." What tribe? Uh, <laughs> in a way. Imagine a tribe tens of thousands strong, but because of that, you don't know each other personally. You got, you share a common goal you know, in the grand scheme of things over your life, but day to day, you'll walk past them, not even know their name. What was that? Out of character? You're a little she quiet. Said, she said it's, it sounds unwieldy. It is. It takes a lot of work to keep it running. And it still doesn't run well. But it's home. Much like what you have here. That's a bit. AFK, parents calling. Okay. And then looks a bit towards the, uh, the north, towards the direction where the rest of her um, tribe presumably is still at. Oh, uh, don't worry. You'll be back before you know it. Hopefully. I'll see. Tula was just, like, fiddling with the rabbit. And she asks, <clears throat> in a softer voice, Cute. Do you think they'd be mad if we stayed here? Yeah. They'd wear. Our boss. People back at work. But if we, like, became permanent, like, field office here, or just, like, quit and didn't go back? Either way. I mean, it might be a stick, like, a selling point. Say, hey, we're familiar with the pe folks and culture. Now we should stay here. I don't know if I would, you know, not miss certain things, like toilets. <sighs> Tulula just looks up at Keen. <clears throat> or I guess down at it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> looks in his general direction. I just... I feel more at home here than I do at home. in the city working at our place anyway. I mean, your folk don't tend to... Tulula raises an eyebrow. Tend to what? I mean, from what I understand, you guys are homebodies. You like to stay, you know, on the islands where... I don't know where they come from in this world, but I think they're islanders in, like, yeah, there's, the regular. Yeah, there's uh, various islands up, to the, uh, up in the north... Um... The Sea of Good Promises, uh, plus uh, t t turtles have been known to live along, along the coast of the, um, the country to the east of you currently, which is to the west of Umlern. Uh, what is it called? Titral, I believe. Back. Welcome back. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind taking some time off to visit home, but I don't know. Just being out here, I'm actually not angry out here it's nice isn't it uh you're not angry no i at the office i have to be a certain way i mean i'm a giant fucking turtle 
I get weird looks every day anyway. So being I mean, out here I'm and... Here, I'm here anyway. I don't think you're weird looking. Who said that? Uh, uh, Fang. Sorry, Fang, you were, whatever you said was very quiet yeah, for whatever really... reason. Oh, I, I was saying you, you don't look weird to me. Exactly. And Fang is currently talking to you from up in a tree. Yeah. I mean, you could be like me where people don't even notice you and like almost step on you every day. That's why do you think so I always. You try it. Why do you think I'm always close by, Keen? So you don't get stepped on. I think some of them actually try to step on me. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean. <laughs> okay, all right. There, there, there is that one half orc from floor two. <laughs> I'd also like to point out. She is kind of a bitch. Not wrong. She has a death glare that could puncture steel. But I'd also like to point out. You have a shell that could bend an axe head. Keen over here can wriggle into a snack machine faster than any of us can even think about it. Thang up there, as annoying as she can be, just climbed that tree like it was nothing. Talking about I'm not annoying! <laughs> Thang, do you enjoy that tree? Yeah. Great, shut up or I'll chop it down. <laughs> Why don't you destroy the forest? The Eat woman, your she rabbit. She just looks over at Tallulah and kind of narrows her eyes a bit. It would chop down the tree because of, because of an annoyance. No, I would not. Does that mean I could be annoying? And you no. notice that she is giving you a death glare <laughs> that could probably pierce steel. Wait, who? The, uh, the orc lady. <laughs> you see uh, 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 like, uh, kind of go in her shell and you hear her say, It was just a joke! <laughs> I'm sorry! It's a joke, though. Dun dun dun. We give each other a hard time to help keep ourselves on some sort of edge. I'm not used to the hardship. <laughs> Fang, do you want more rabbit? Uh, can you chuck it up here? Too bad there's not any more. <laughs> I say as I chuck part of my rabbit up there. Oh, shit. Roll a dexterity yeah! check to see if you catch it. Okay, no. dexterity. Uh, you go. Oh, but... no, the, the, the cat is very agile and she manages to cling on to the branch that she's on while she while she uh, darts out a paw and just grabs the, the rabbit and pulls it in. Thank you. Welcome. Sorry. <laughs> That's the rest of us should continue on in the morning. Should people be taking watch? Should we re-establish who's going to take watch? Yeah, why don't you take watch first? Okay. I mean, I'm up here, so... How do we want to break up the watches? Do we want to try to keep two people on watch at all times? I can take a um, watch and keep an eye on you. Just one eye? Or, or both? She kind of gives uh, Tallulah another one of those looks. Alright. Well. So. Come here often? She lives here. Shut <laughs> up! No one asked you, Kel. We roam through the woods. Thus, people. And occasionally other tribes to contend with. Looks pointedly at Kel when they mention people. You is a people. So are you. So is Fang. I is a turtle. I is a cat. Yeah. 
You're also humanoid and speak a common language. Uh, You're one of the Tallulah, people. Tallulah lays on her stomach and starts like trying to walk like a normal turtle would and starts speaking <laughs> Aquan. <laughs> Aquan sounds like a lot of bubbles. Exactly. So she's she's just like <laughs> bloop 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 bloop. <laughs> yes, exactly. And looks over at Kel. Point still stands. <laughs> You're a person. Just apparently you got nominated to be the village idiot. <laughs> Tulula just like stands straight up and just stomps over to him. You want to say that again? No. The first time was enough. Oh, God. Well, if you have anything to say, why don't you say it to my face, you limp noodle? If you don't stop, I'll punch you so hard, I'll make your ancestors dizzy. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> And Kel will chuckle and go start preparing his bedroll for the evening. Hilga uh, puts um, another log on the fire and t tends to it a bit. Kalula just like flops on her stomach and like tries to get as far into her shell as she can. Night, everybody! Thank you for the meal, Helga. Don't uh, worry. Alright, so who took first watch? Me and Helga. Alright, then I need you to roll a perception check. Okay. <laughs> I'll yeah, take second go. watch, I guess. Okay. Perception. Uh, I'll probably do I second. I got a plus one. Uh -huh. Oh, oh my god. god, that's a nice number. <laughs> nice. Same gun, see shit. <laughs> I know, but that's still a nice number. You gotta admit. He'll go nice. around in uh, the darkness, seeing much more than uh, than the cat can. And oh, it, yeah, of course. Some points that. Um, that, th that Fang just kind of falls asleep on her branch. I was gonna say that I was distracted by the bugs. Lightning bugs, just batting at lightning bugs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's that too. <laughs> Probably where the lightning bugs lands on Lulu's um, shell. And it starts uh, blinking there. Blink. <laughs> Right on the lip, right where the face would be, except her, that she's pulled her head in. Question, do I want to die? Hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and swat at it. You're up in a tree, she's all the way on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to hop down to the ground to try and swat at the stationary firefly. You better hope you don't fucking miss. Okay. <laughs> Make an attack roll with your claws. I mean, I don't want to do an attack. It, it's, an atta it's an attack. You're trying to swat at the... At the oh, it's an attack. That's not fair. <laughs> I'm just a cat. I'm, I'm not a strengthy cat. If I use my claws, it's negative two. No, no, your claws would be next... Oh, well, yeah, I guess, actually. Claws are strength, yeah. Yeah, for your strength. Uh, fuck it. Let's try it. <laughs> so, not only do you catch, manage to catch the fly, but your claw flicks the inside of Tallulah's shell. Uh, Tallulah's eyes just snap open. And you see, uh, the, uh, You get a cat. one plus one slashing, so zero. <laughs> What's sneak? <laughs> 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 you, felt, you felt a little tickle along the, the, along your nose as the fur passed right by, and you see a, a large cat paw. In your so, eye. if um, if Fang were like looking inside the shell, 
she would see, like, these blue eyes just, like, pop open. And I'm gonna playfully nibble at the cat paw that is now inside my shell. <laughs> oh, That's if I may don't, ask... Don't eat the bug! In all seriousness, though, if I may ask, turtles? <clears throat> are they based off of sea turtles or snapping turtles? Or tortoises? Oh, God. So I they're based what kind of beak do they have? I believe they're based after, to after tortoises, more, mostly. Because I've I think they're seen. more sea turtles because they're coastal and they do True. water, so, but like more like a like a red-eared slider type turtle than okay. a. Because th I've seen you pictures of them where they're like you know, look a lot like Galapagos tortoises, but you're right, sea turtles also makes a lot more sense because of their, their you know their natures. So I would. Do say, they have a swim speed? I would well, say the... maybe they're a mix, like you know, turtles um, are, are a mix mm -hmm. of uh, you know tortoises and, tur and, and sea turtles. They race. they are what you want them to be. My <laughs> beak isn't gonna well, snap true. anybody's limb off. It's true. Turtles could actually be a whole mixture of both because I, I mean, I, I make uh, breeds of tabaxi in parts of the world that look very different from each other. There's some that look like, that, you know, that have more of a liony appearance and attitude, and others that are more like tigers. So it's like, you know, if you do that with that, then yeah, turtles could be any type of uh, turtle or tortoise. And turtle like pokes her head out. Can I help you? I, 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 I was, I, uh, 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 just slowly opens up the paw. <laughs> this, this, this is what I was doing. Just he's like looking back and forth. The, 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 you, the you know you're supposed to be on watch, right? Oh. Uh, hey, I was. Tallulah is just like her extremities are coming out of her shell now. <sighs> I I'm pretty sure. Were how you is dropped that. on your head, or were you born <laughs> stupid? I don't remember being born. <laughs> Alright. Now that I'm awake. I guess I should go take my watch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Walks I'm over and just like picks Keen up. Wake up. Keen just does this little stretch thing that like his arms and legs just stick straight out <laughs> since he's being levitated. <laughs> Sits keen on, the, on on a nearby rock. It's like I'm awake, I'm awake. Yeah, at least you didn't wake up to a cat paw in your face. Wow. <clears throat> hey, uh, Helga. The orc woman looks over here. Yeah. Um, have you ever cooked a cat? <laughs> no, I have not. Hmm. Just looks at Fang. <laughs> okay. Well, you are relieved. Good night. Oh. Oh. Okay. Goes back up into the tree. <laughs> Elga makes herself com comfortable underneath one of the trees. It's not the same one uh, that Fang is hanging out in. Tolula is going to go sit under the tree that Fang is in, but make a point to hit it really hard with her shell when she sits down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. So the tree's shaking, is it? Yes. Oh boy. Should I make a roll for this or? Yeah, you're a cat. You're clinging to it hard. Oh, okay, cool. Perception checks, please. No oh, goody. I'm so good at those. Well, you did better than Keen, your... probably. <laughs> Hopefully. Jesus, Keen is Keen's also still not fine. awake. He's like, mm -hmm. oh, I was about to say, Keen is also looking for five bucks. <laughs> oh. oh, good old liquids. Tallulah would probably be looking for something to saw that tree limb down. Asshole. <laughs> you hit me. I 
I was rescuing a bug I was on a stealthy asleep. mission. I was asleep, and you hit me. <laughs> I I was getting bugs. <laughs> It was a bug. Okay, look, you have oh. look. You don't need more bugs. You have enough fleas to take care of. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I like to clean myself properly. I don't have any fleas. Again, <laughs> that I don't know. Of. Hmm. I don't know. You look like a flea bag to me. Excuse <sighs> me. I may have some sort of. Disease, but it's definitely not fleas. Well, did do you have worms? They come from fleas. One time, imagine the cat scooting like her scooting her butt along the ground. <laughs> just a tabaxi, just. <laughs> that poor tabaxi. Yeah, my fang's not gonna get much love, is she? <laughs> Believe it or not, this is, this is she was a character made to make love, not to not to Lula's love it. language is beating people up. <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not, this is how most of my characters are. They with people that they that they consider friends or companions, they bullshit with all the time. Some more than others. So, booping you on the nose was a good thing because it's kind of the same treatment that you give your. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. My sniffer is my sniffer. If you boop my snoot again, I get to boop your snoot. And I will use a fist. <laughs> I didn't use fist, I used my soft kitty paws. You used your claws. And look, I was just making a strength check, okay? My claws, I mean, I can't, I should have just did straight strength, but, I mean, claws was there, so I quit. I might it. have the highest AC in this group, and you still fucking hit me! <laughs> uh, ooh. Actually, wait, hold on a second. Hold on, you may not have hit me. Your oh. AC is 19 when you're in your shell, I believe. Yeah, you didn't hit me at all. Now that I think about it, my shell defense. Yeah, huh, see, until I you didn't move your nose. I was so stealthy that I just grabbed the bug, not your nose. Until you emerge, you gain a plus four bonus to AC. Oh, it was a plus four. It used to be just a flat. Nice. Yeah, plus four. Okay, so now he still would have hit me. He would have met my eighteen. And you have advantage on strength and constitution saving rolls. Yep, because you're in your shell. It's mm -hmm. kind of hard to move a rock. But then I get disadvantage on dexterity rolls. Yeah. Is it morning yet? No. Uh, the rest of your party was slightly awakened, including the, the orc, by your argument. And uh, soon it becomes time for the third... Um, Third group. Who's on as the I get ready, as I get ready to get up, I hit the tree again with my shell really hard. Make an attack roll. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes! Please be good. What with? Unarmed? I want to fall. I want to fall. I don't have an unarmed attack, or yeah, yeah unarmed. Strength roll, basically, is how that works. Yeah, strength attack with proficiency, I think. Okay. No, not proficiency. You're not proficient in the. I mean, if it's considered unarmed, but improvised, no. Yeah, you, you basically slam your shell in the, in the thing. Uh, let's see. I need a dexterity saving throw from from the cat, and a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom I'm not good at. Fuck. On the dexterity, but wisdom I'm not very good at. You don't say. So, you, you're, you're waking... You're, Woken up some, at some point, feeling everything shake around you, your claws instantly just like grab hold of the branch tighter, and you don't fall, but you are awake. And she's a little bit moving off back to her sleeping spot. Kind of just hisses. Sorry, and... were you asleep? 
No, I I was just closing my eyes for a second. I was not asleep at all. I hope you fall out of that tree. I hope I you hope fall you... the fuck out of that tree. I hope you fall out of the tree. Bitch, I ain't in the tree. <laughs> I couldn't even get up the tree. Tulu goes over and like hugs a tree. See? Ain't going nowhere. <laughs> You're just hugging it. You're not doing anything. Just I would like the everybody mindset. to roll wisdom saving throws. It's, it's currently asleep. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like Keen fell us back asleep, so I'll roll one for him. Uh, waking up everyone. Well, it's a good thing you and I were about to have a. Yeah, our good watch thing anyway. we we're about to get up. Alright, so who's awake? Keen was supposed to be awake, but was dozing anyway. Do I need to roll since I would have been waking up at this time anyway, or roll anyway? Um, ro uh, roll anyway. Because it's, okay. it's just before. It's basically when you guys would have been sent to be woken up. Mm. Is there four watches, or just three? There's three or four, depending. But so you'd be there, Keen. Gene was still on watch. Uh -oh. Back, Tulu's there. Oops. Someone actually have a. Tulu was under Fangtail, and, and I guess Keen would be like on the other side of camp from Tulu because she plopped him down on a rock. Tulu hugged a random tree. I don't think she specified one. So but I thought she was yelling up at Fangtail. But so she is about like right there. So uh, let's see. He'll go. Let's see. He'll go still asleep. Yeah, she's still asleep. Keen, Keen, you wandered over there. Um, if you're going to sleep, then you you're probably asleep at this, at this moment, Keen. Like you know, you you heard the arguing before. You're not letting it affect you. He was dozing off during the watch, so he's yeah. like partially asleep. Uh, Rick and Nori, you're just getting up as Tulu's moving over. Fangtail, you're in the middle of yelling at Tulula, and a faint sound coming. Near to you guys is uh, can be heard coming from the direction where uh, where Fangtail's currently at. Fangtail is up a tree, so I do hear something coming your way. Likes lemons. I mean, who hears it? Does everybody hear it all? Oh god! Oh, that's a tree. Oh, it's a tree. It's a tree. Hey, babe. Yeah. Hello, tree. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah, there, there are other trees and everything like that. Um, is that a tree star tree? It is. Mark out where the campfire is for everybody. Because there is a campfire going. Occasionally the tokens that look so usable on this. There we go. Rock that Keen is currently on. Tallulah dropped him on top of it, so okay. he's like... He's like there. It was still nice and warm, he fell asleep on it. So from up between the trees, running this way, most likely drawn by the sound of Fangtail yelling. Oh no. Tallulah, uh, just... Fangtail, and they're now waking up Kel and, um... And Nori see a beaked face emerging from the darkness, making a really weird noise. Uh, oh no! Kind of like the sound between a growl and a hooting. 
Oh, oh is this the Albert I'm supposed to ride while waving donuts? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. It's an Albert. Let's try and tame it. <laughs> Guys, I totally need that as my mascot for my donut shop. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Did somebody just die? I think so. I almost just did. I was drinking, and then all of a sudden I hear, I need an owlbear as a mascot for my shop. Yeah, did you Do you not remember? remember? <laughs> yeah, that was like two, it was two weeks ago, but there was like a thing about a keen riding on an owlbear with like donuts and, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. So, Nori, you're up first. Um. What the fuck was that? Probably a bird. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, birds from Jesse's end. <coughs> it's an actual bird and not just a, a, a toy? No, an actual bird. Wow. Is that yeah, those birds are that really loud. Bird sound like? Yeah. Like weird-ass oh, birds in Australia. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome to us uh, up, up here that never heard a kookaburra before. Probably not awesome to you. <laughs> it wasn't a kookaburra, by the way. Ah, okay. You'll, you'll know when it's an actual kookaburra. They're very loud. Very obnoxious. You, you'll hear it when I roll in that one. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. On here is a great blue heron. It kind of sounds like a pterodactyl. Babe, what was that crane we saw at the zoo that I wanted to strangle? King. Fuck those. King crane. Because they have a bit of a crown on them. Yeah. Then, does then... the does the oh, owlbear look like it's going to attack us? Oh yeah, the, the, the owlbear looks like it is going to be it's charging at whatever member of the party it can reach. Probably attracted by the sound of uh, of argument. Great. <sighs> just what I need to wake up to. God damn people. Tulu is just like pointing at Fang. Thanks, pointing at Tallulah. <laughs> <laughs> They're both just blaming each other. Exactly. Um, <laughs> where is the owl bear? In relation to the group? the tree. Dear, it's the giant owl, owl bear <laughs> token. There it is. Sorry, I thought I already <laughs> had my um my window scrolled all the way to the left. For some reason, it was not. Otherwise, I would have just seen it. Sorry. As it's 600 well... feet from Keen. The moment it is, yes. And Keen is fast, is asleep on the rock and hasn't been woken up yet. So the 11 was a fail? Or did not wake up? Correct. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was a fail to wake up or a fail to not wake up. Nori's gonna... It basically... Did... If, if you heard it, did your brain realize that you were hearing an outside noise, or because it, you you know you're a city dweller by nature, you uh, th did you just interpret it as background sound? Uh, for Hilga, neighbor I getting will... murdered. <laughs> <laughs> you're from a big city, <laughs> essentially New York City. So yeah. Or it's the the couple downstairs getting in a fight and having makeup sex, you know. <laughs> that sometimes sounds like an owlbear. Exactly. Oh God, I'm a just. <laughs> you know, I roll my little dice truck over here because I like to use it some for things, and I rolled very lowly, so she's deep deeply asleep. All right, so Nori's gonna go over to here and fire a crossbow at the owlbear. Because I actually have bolts this time. Text me, Nori. The owlbear howl in pain as it, one of the bolts is kind of clips some of its feathers and zings off into, into a tree, leaving a trail of blood to darken its its body. Fangtail. Uh, I'm gonna stay in the tree and fire at the owlbear with my bow. Yeah. End up in the owl, the uh, orc lady's pet or something. 
I have shot the owlbear. What do you have sneak attack? Uh, I think he just has it as well. Yeah. Okay, so no sneak, attack. No, sneak attack on that. no sneak attack. Unless it doesn't see me in the tree. You know, it was attracted the tree. in by the sound of your voice, so it knows you're uh, Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Kill. Alright. So. I. Will. Real quick, it takes my action to wake someone up, correct? Uh, yes, or you can use a free action to shout, and it gives them advantage uh, to wake up on their turn. Yeah, I, I feel like I need... Yeah, I feel like I need to get in on this to make sure things don't go wrong. So I'll... I'll shout for Helga to wake up. And I'll step over her so I can get my attacks off. Damn. You suck. The, 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 uh, the crossbow bolt I know. Ground. <laughs> and then I'll shimmy back over behind Delula so I do not die. <laughs> I'm not a. I'm not a shield. You are am for I, me. Am I a sentient shield? <laughs> Can be. But yeah, the the uh, the owl bear didn't even notice Kel's attack, and Fangtail is up in a tree and it can't reach it right now. Nori, on the other hand, is a good target, and it goes charging right at Nori. Oh God! Oh. Oh no. And it goes. Beak. Claw. Ow. Missed. Okay, I'm fine. Kind of, kind of slam the beak down into your chest, gouging up blood, and then you start falling back as it swings at one of its massive paws at you. Thankfully, you you fall and catch yourself just just seeing the claws go right past your the, the now bleeding open chest as blood soaks into your clothing. Uh -oh. Lula. Alrighty, I'm gonna rage. <laughs> And I'm gonna go. Please don't hit the tree. <laughs> and I'm going to hit the owl bear. Hit. Oh, nice. The owl bear screeches in pain as you extract blood from it. You see a huge mark from the gash from your sword open up into its flank. And it turns its weird eyes to look upon you. Kiel is just smiling. Uh, you may roll another wisdom saving throw at advantage to see if it's enough to snap you awake. Yes, and, and your eyes are suddenly open wide, and you see the the very creature you were talking about putting on a label. Uh, in the middle of your party, it's being drenched in blood, uh, getting stabbed at by Tallulah. I'm assuming it takes most of my action to wake up. Uh, do you have a bonus action? I do, but he's gonna fucking hide for his bonus action. Okay, he, can, <laughs> he, he, can, he has the, the hide to bo for his bonus action if he wants. He's just like, oh shit! <laughs> Poof! But I don't know if he hides or not. Twelve may or may not hide. <laughs> he goes into Kara mode. Helga gets advantage on her wisdom saving throw as well. Holy crap. Holy crap, she is still fast asleep. <laughs> oh my god. The butterfinger I gave her it knocked her out. Apparently, Apparently crunchy, coma. crispy, crunchy, peanut buttery is uh, so before for orcs. Well, she's never had anything quite like it before, and it was... A... Sugar crash. Yeah, apparently. Nori. Ow, ow. That's, that really hurts. Um... You might want to. You might want to disengage. <laughs> um. Let's see. I guess I should probably. 
I'll disengage. Just to get to safety at least. So I don't die. Because of someone else's argument. Tallulah! Fangtail! Fangtail, you're up. Well, let's shoot it again. Yeah. But shoot at me. Uh, I wouldn't you hit you this time. And I turned off sneak attack. Well, you get sneak attack this time, so. Oh God damn it! <laughs> an ally within five feet. Oh Lord, Jesse. You're arguing with her. You still have uh, that. <laughs> I'm trying there. to help, goddammit. Sneak attack is 1d8, so... Wow. 1d6. No, it's... Yeah, 1d6 is sneak attack. It's d6s. The amount of d6s changes on level. I'm gonna treat that as a 1d5. Because it's two less than that. Just to be generous. Oh, it is a 1d6. It's very... It should be on your small. attack... Thing that you should have a sneak attack on the global damage. Jesse. You can click on and off. Kill, you're up. It was just very small and I couldn't actually see, so I decided, yeah, I'll just go with what it says there. The, but... This thing's back, and a huge wound gashed into its side by Tallulah. I am once again going to shout for Hoka to wake up, <laughs> and I'll position here and just. Shotgun it. Check. Also to cut it off so it doesn't try to attack uh, Nori or Hilga. Yeah, for, forget about Keen. I guess he's fine. <laughs> either of those hit? Yeah, both of those hit. I mean, Keen's awake. He's hiding. He tried to hide. So he gets tagged for 15. Well, well I, I would have seen Keen disappear, I think. Probably so I'd have faith guy. that Keen's well, okay. He, you, you still see him. You see his tail and all that. As you see. He didn't hide very well. Yeah. He tried. Yeah, pretty sure that... He's half asleep and, like, thinks he's hiding behind the rock, but his tail is, like, sticking straight up. <laughs> yeah, your passive perception is higher than his stealth, so... Yeah. Let's see. Elibear has two targets he can go for. Actually... He's currently face. It's currently facing Tulula, so it is going to aim its beak attack at Tulula. Just kind of smash into into her, into her um, shell with its beak, chipping some bit and causing some uh, some piercing damage in, into her side through one of a very tiny weak spot. And then it's turning and attempting to um, to bat to, to bat uh, Kel away with its claws. I think that misses. Yeah. Uh, your, AC the is, your AC is 13, its attack is a 12. Thankfully that misses. Oh, wait. So is the beak at Tallulah? The beak was at Tallulah. Thank God. In, in <laughs> Darling, you take half damage, right? Yeah, you no. half damage. Oh, yeah, I do, don't I? Fuck. Fuck me. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> what's 13 divided by 2? Add 13 and then minus 7, or minus 6, sorry. Just add 13 and minus 7, and it'll give you the amount. I thought a damage gets rounded down. Yeah, it does. That's what, uh, 6. I meant to say 6. Okay. So... Alright, well. Is, fuck this owlbear. You, you have advantage, because Kel is flanking. Fuck this owlbear. So that's a 16, which hits. And you've uh, just kind of like, as, as it's turning around to swipe its paw at Kel, who di dives back, uh, you just manage to take your great sword and and uh, thrust it right through its back. And for a moment, Kel, you see the tip of Tulu's sword explode uh, through its chest as she draws it back, and the body just collapses at your feet. Do we want to take this chance to take out her, uh, her, uh... Kind of, like, sits up, blinking and... Oh. Slipped quite so deeply before. You don't I say. I am currently fighting. 
Keen just peers over the rock and says, I'm not sure about one of those as a mascot for donuts, guys. You see Tallulah just take out her hand axe and she's walking towards the tree. Get down. I'm hiding. You Get can't see down. me. Out of character, you can't see me. Okay, I'm just going to start hitting the fucking tree then. You didn't roll, you didn't roll a hide in character. In character, Jesse. I rolled a stealth. While this is happening, oh, Nori's I going to... I see yourself. My bad. While this is going, Nori's going to try and find his bolt. <laughs> Did you fire? You just fired one, right? I fired one. Yeah. You managed to find it, and it's still intact. I'd also like to attempt to get my four back. I'm going to attempt to climb the tree. Did you say four? Yeah, I fired uh, four. Yeah, climb the tree. One was a shotgun, not not a not a cross bolt. No, I'm like shotgunning it, like barrel stuffing it, and pulling the trigger. Oh, okay, so it was, it was all crossbows. Yeah. So roll one Sorry. Two, roll one, two, five. I didn't think about that when I used the term. Yeah, you can find three of them, yeah. Grizz, I want to climb the tree. Right. <laughs> yes. I believe in you. I hope that's a sturdy tree. Just imagine them climbing. Everything that, that we're, they're climbing up the tree, and the tree starts bending down, like the, the cartoons. Tallulah just lets go, and we never see Fangtail again. <laughs> Grizz, what do you want me to roll? I'm blasting off again. I mean, climb is typically strength, but it's all de you know depends on what Grizz thinks. So yeah, Tallulah, you're a barbarian. So roll athletics. Uh oh. Uh, manages to grab hold of the tree and start inching her way up. It is shaking quite a bit with, with the turtle's weight. Come here, you little flea bag! Oh no! What is it? You can climb half your speed or something like that, so 15 feet. How, how, how tall is that tree? Turtles are slower. Oh, they, they are? Uh, about 15 feet, actually. I'm gonna start like trying to grasp for Fangtail's tail now. <laughs> Oh no! Fangtail, you just know that she's up there somewhere. I know, that's why I'm just like grasping in the air, like. Well, make a uh, make make a strength roll with uh, with advantage with with disadvantage. Ten and a ten doesn't hit Fangtail's AC, so you you try reaching grabbing around up there, and you do not find anything. Hilga, meanwhile, is looking at the corpse of the owlbear, looking up at the two of you, and is shaking her head. Ugh, must have been attracted to the noise. Be quiet, or more will come. You just hear Tulula say, Fangtail, I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> just whispers. <laughs> no, you're not! Hilda, oh, meanwhile, happened? looks at Kel, Nori, and Keen, and just says, are they children? It seems like it. In the meantime, <laughs> shall we ignore them and see if we can get anything useful off the owl bear? Maybe food for tomorrow? Feathers are quite useful. Mm -hmm. Edible? I'm guessing they need them for arrows. Do they taste like owl or bear? <laughs> <laughs> or is it like a griffin where you get like two kinds of meat? I that... do not think it tastes like bear, and I've never tried an owl, so I cannot make a comparison there. Its claws are also quite useful. It can make wonderful gloves that can be quite useful in battle with them. Hmm. Oh, well, some, before. Uh, and some like turning their beaks and face into a mask or helmet. Keen wants to take a feather as a souvenir, even though he didn't actually do anything to it. Uh, Tallulah's gonna slide down the tree and just start shaking it while all of this is happening. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tallulah, strength check. Tallulah, stop! You'll never get me down! Seriously, Keen. Seriously, doesn't move at all this time. Haha. <laughs> just sits down at the bottom of the tree. 
can you two just stop and go to sleep, please? She started it. I don't care who started it. Go she to whistles bed. Whistles off in the distance. She started it. <laughs> I'm a killer. I'm a fucking killer. Both, both of you, sleep. You know what? I'm gonna take like a cabbage out and just blindly chuck it up the tree. <laughs> oh, <laughs> can I try and catch it? Roll dexterity check for a missile attack. My God, children! It just kind of. It doesn't really go very far. It kind of bounces off. Keen, the... Keen is crawling back into. Can I try and catch it? Can I try and catch it? <laughs> no, it, it's too far down from you. It didn't, it didn't make very far. Damn it. Hilga is just looking over at, at, uh, at Keen. I would have thought if anyone was children in this party, it would be you. You are the smallest. But they are clearly children, whereas you seem to be competent. <laughs> yes, as very Keen, competent. As Keen hid behind a rock. <laughs> Tarina hears this and just says in Aquin. Do you know how to use the word competent? Ooh. Alright, everyone. Everyone else is just hearing bubble, 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 bubble. Don't mind her, she's just choking on her cabbage. Well, then you see Tulula just like start laughing to herself. <laughs> You will also hear Fangtail laughing in the tree. What, what's Fangtail laughing at? At you. <laughs> Wait, what? I said that in Aquan. Ah, oh, in Aquan. Okay, never mind. I don't know that. I know Celestial and Elvish. That's about it. It's also like you know, age age is a thing, and it's like you know, it doesn't really account for maturity because different races mature at different rates, as do individuals. Oh, and it also you know is in real life as well. My dad's like over forty years old, and he's collecting Rubik's cubes. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steal my my little pony toys. So I still have, I still have mine too. That's, you started me on that collection. I, I have Pokemon plushies. Oh, same here. I've got a Umbreon, an Espeon, an Eevee, a Leafeon, and a Flareon. I, 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 oh, I, I, I And a, uh, a, a, a uh, Persian. I have oh, I also Eevee. have an Eevee Pop. I have an Eevee, a Vulpix, a Piplup, a uh, Bulbasaur, a Growlithe, uh, a Pikachu, uh, a Ditto. Okay, fucking rub it in. Um, we have a, we also have a Bulbasaur and Cubone pop. Oh, we do. What about the Volpix and Eevee pops? They come in fluffies. Oh, I need the Volpix and Eevees you know, at Build a Bear. I think that some of the the uh, Pokemon things I have, I might have bought before at least two of our my, our party members were even born. Shit. Yeah, Pokemon Which two? Started I think I, was I born. bought them in the end of the 90s. Which two? Uh, I have a, a Mew somewhere, and I have a Raichu. I, 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 mean, I, mean, I think party members, I think she's talking about Jesse and yeah. maybe... Uh, J J J Jesse and... and, uh, and um... Oh, yeah. J J J J J sorry, Jesse and Rick, yeah. They're, uh... Yeah. <sighs> Where the you guys youngest just little babies? Like, oh, we're little baby okay. Babe, they're little baby beans. They are. Hello, are, they... are you my mommy? Fuck that. <laughs> I think Chris and I are roughly the same age. Yeah, we're born in the same year, but you were born at the start of the year, and I was born near the end of the year. Uh, I'm I'm twenty-five. Forty. I'm old. 39. What was that? You said that very quietly. I said I'm 40. I'm old. I'm I'm over 30, so you're not supposed to trust me. I'm uh, 21. I'm old. <sighs> if it makes you feel any better, I uh, 
I probably have more grays than you. I have a ridiculous amount of grays for my age. And you also already have a pacemaker. That is also true. I've I, I forgotten about that. Yeah, I have a pacemaker. Aww. At 23. <coughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fine now. I think. Except for when I roll over and accidentally smack it. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Uh, sorry guys for all my snuffling. It just happens randomly. It happens. Anyway, guys, uh, back to the story at hand. Uh, the, basically, the rest of the uh, of the night goes on, um, you know, pretty safely. Uh, Hilga at some point wakes up and continues a, a later watch as letting the guy, those of you who were hurt. Uh, and needed to use special skills and such, uh, get extra sleep so that you all get the effects of a long rest even after that battle. Oh, oh good. Me. Really needed that long rest. Oh, yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> if anyone hey! needed that long rest, it was Nori. Yeah. Definitely. I hey, Nori, I can help you rest. Leave no, leave me alone. <laughs> If he'd been, if he didn't hit with the claws as well, he would have been down. There would have just been chunks of him on the ground. I would have been fine. Well, yeah, somebody would have poured a potion down your throat, but still. <laughs> I don't know. Tulu may have just kicked his body out of the way. Which would have given him an instant uh, that 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 saving throw loss. Okay, nope, wouldn't have done that because I already had that bullshit happen to me. Fuck that. I wouldn't um. have been in your way. <laughs> Well, I also have cure wounds. So regardless, he's living. Exactly. I'll save no matter what. He's safe. Okay. Yeah. Did they come clean off? Yep, it did. Yeah. He wasn't very happy. So what you're saying is they didn't eat a ma magic mushroom, so they didn't grow back. Oh, well, he he took a potion later on, and it grew back as a demonic leg. But uh, yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a very special potion. It, we were playing Curse of Strahd at the time. Stra that must have been <laughs> one hell of a potion. <laughs> they, they, uh, you ever played Curse of Strahd? No. Okay, then I don't want to. Give It'd be a spoiler away. if we told you like the whole yeah, story. No, you're yeah. good. I I yeah. want to I want to play Curse of Strahd. Yes, I, I I you might be able to talk me into GMing for you at some point, Curse of Strahd, because uh, I I love Curse of Strahd and I love, I wouldn't mind running it again. Yeah, I want I want to finish a game of Curse of Strahd. <laughs> Without getting killed. I haven't time. played it yet. Oh, hey, Grizz, I have a question for you. Go ahead. Speaking of GMing, um. Would you be okay if I, like, in quotations, assisted you DMing so I could see how it's done? The Sunday stuff. She wants to kind of co-DM with you so she can, like, see what it looks like behind the screen. We can talk about it. Yay! <clears throat> Alright. Okay, so, you guys are awake, your runes are taken care of, uh... Hilga spent some time butchering some of that body, but mo most of the corpse is still there. But she's taken the claws. Uh, she's she, she's uh, taken some feathers, taken some hide, and has wrapped some some chunks some meat in the hide. There's if she allows me, I would like to take a portion of the beak. It was my turn to watch anyway. Right, she she should have let you ha have the beak then. Cool. And uh, she's stuck some of the meat uh, over the fire. Um, for you guys to eat once you guys wake up. Hopefully <laughs> no more of them will come charging at us in the, during the day. We must not be too loud. They will drag them in. Unlike bear. Bear will be frightened away by loud noises. Owlbear, though, they get attracted in. I feel like as she, say, as she says that, Tallulah snores. <laughs> Wait, does that mean Tallulah's actually asleep asleep? P. 
penis on her face. <laughs> She's in her shell. Oh, oh, oh. Know. Can can I try and be sneaky and 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 uh climb on top of her shell? Sure. Oh my god. Yes. So stealth? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lula, roll with some saving throw. Yeah. You do not feel feel the cat climbing on top of you. Or if you do, <laughs> it is integrated into a dream. I am sleeping on Tallulah. No. <sighs> Kel is shoving Fang off of Tallulah. Oh. <laughs> Does this wake Tallulah up at this point? I, I I'm think, not being gentle. I, I think that would. <laughs> then you get, gets back to the tree. is just doing an orcish face palm at this point. Yeah, Nori is face palming as well at this point. Was there just a cat on top of me? No, the cat ran off. No, she's asking, like, was there just a cat on top of me? Yes, I shoved her off. You see just, like, a turtle head come out and look up at the tree? Nope. And slowly sink back in. <laughs> Nora, you need to get your girl under control. Excuse me? <laughs> you heard me. Yeah, Nori, keep me in control. I'm being a bad girl. Yeah, you need to get spayed. Oh, no. Too little, like, reach no. a forward. I can do it. No! <laughs> Can we please move on? Yes. I'd rather we not have one of our coworkers die today. Well, Fang's not a coworker. Oh, you not ask. referring to Fang. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, after packaging up some of the cooked meats, since it's not being eaten as much as she thought it would be, she begins to uh, kick dirt over the fire to, put, to, to finish putting it out. Hilga. Can I have some food? <laughs> Offers you a piece of the cooked aloe meat. Looks at Fang. You want some? Oh, no. I, I know this is a trap. <laughs> no, here. Seriously. Rips off a piece. Climbs down slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> He hands it to her, grabs her hand, pulls her close, and says, If you ever lay on my shell again, I'll fucking murder you. Let's go, and walks away. <laughs> Munching on her owl bear. Looks like somebody didn't get the. Uh, God damn it, I was. I thought of something smart. <laughs> and then you lost Looks it. Looks like didn't somebody you? didn't have that cabbage this morning. Tula said, it's Wednesdays. On Wednesdays, we eat potatoes. <laughs> Even though you know that it is daytime, the woods that um, Hilga is leading you into are starting to get taller and darker the deeper you go in. So it's more like twilight at, here at the Forest Flora than midday. Uh, I would like each of you to roll me perception checks. Uh... Helga? Why are we going so deep into this forest? Because that's, that's what I've been asked to guide you to. Uh, no Fang. Way. Skeletons are coming from. As, uh, as you glance around, uh, you see evidence of an ancient road, mostly overgrown and mostly covered in, like, you know, dirt and other stuff, like bits and pieces of broken rock that are clearly manufactured, bits of, uh, of roadstone, that seem to be leading from where you're at now towards the east. Hey, should we follow this road? That's too easy. <laughs> Would follow the Hilga, since she seems to know where this is her turf, right? This is your homeland? Well, 
Well, like ruins be a good spot for necromancers. Good place for them to hide out and seek shelter. So we should probably follow these. This ancient road probably leads yeah, to let's ruins. Let's follow the road that might lead to ruins. It might I mean, lead us straight. I mean, to are there any wonders. like footprints in the road, or like like? Investigation little little bits of bone laying around, like you know, they're not falling apart when they're walking along. Oh, nice. So, Keen, after you get po getting pointed out by um, Nori where this ancient road is, you um, kind of like bend down to get close to the ground, almost like you're sniffing it, like a dot, like you know, kind of. He would probably be crawling around on his on his hands and knees and or whatever, yeah, he, he, sniffing he, around. He, he doesn't looks, care. He looks really cute doing that. He's an adorable little kid, well acting like a dog. But um, but it, it pays it pays off because uh, as you as you like look around and go into the underbrush and like you know follow some of the paths of the road that's most again that's pretty much overgrown and mostly vanished underneath uh, nature's reclaiming power. Uh, you start to find uh, what looks like um, road markers that have been like overgrown with plants. Um, some of them have fallen down, but embedded towards one of them, you find something that's a bit more fresh, and it looks like a finger bone. Pick it up. Be like, hey guys, I found a piece of skeleton. That's concerning. That does mean that we're probably in the right place. Not wrong. Keen, can I have that? I need to pick my teeth. <laughs> oh, looks bl yeah. looks at her and blinks, but then ha hands it up to her. Definitely a human finger bone. That's rude of you, Keen. Why would you give it the finger? She just... God damn it. <laughs> she just like, examines it for a second and then just goes to pick her teeth. Just, just stares at you for a moment and shakes her head slowly. Turtle, turtles don't have teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I have to look at the artwork, but I think yeah, I think you're right. I think they just have beaks. <laughs> I don't think any I don't think any earth turtles have teeth anyway. Like snappers kind of have jagged edges on their beaks, Fine. but they don't have teeth. So she's just gonna gum the finger, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Hey! One of those, we all, we all remember Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and they always depicted them with teeth. <laughs> but anyway. They were, like, mutated with a human. They got yeah, human traits. Yeah, true, true. Well, tell me was a humanoid. But, uh... But Hilga continues to lead me, <coughs> being the Sorry. trail guide here. Uh, continues to lead you on. It seems to, you know, now we're, now that uh, Nori and Keen know where to look, um, are definitely picking up signs of old, old ruins. Things that have been completely overgrown. Like probably these ru these ruins were, were abandoned before the forest even grew here. Sort of ancient. Um, and after a while of walking towards the east. You start getting signs of uh, what was most likely a, a a wall at some point, which is now only a few pieces of crumbling. It's it, unlike the the, the the giant crumbled wall that's out on the plains that you passed by to get to midpoint. Uh, this stuff is so overgrown that you can only see bits and pieces of the mortar work spread around uh, the in the um, the underbrush here uh, around the trees. Like you know, some sections the trees even grew through. And like picked up and carried bits of the uh, of, of the wall around them, but you just see the evidence and outline uh, of a wall. But as you start looking towards the east and seeing the vines creeping up, you realize that somewhere in the the this, inside this this wall that's around there, there's what looks to be a still rather intact castle. Interesting. You're going to take a quick five minute break to use the bathroom and anything else you need before we go awesome. into that ca castle. Cool. Yay. Cool. We're all going to die. Bye, guys.
Yay, level three. Who else still here? Me. Babe? I just got back. Yeah. I just rolled for my health for level three. I rolled a nat one, so I got three more hit points. Oh, oh did did we level up while I was at the bathroom yes. in the bathroom? Yes, we did. Uh, oh boy, Hello. let's see what my hit dice is. Great timing. Oh, okay. Um, I'll take it. Primal path. What do we want to do? With how your character is, I have an idea. I was probably going to go with Berserker. Mm-hmm. Get more mad? Yeah. Need to run that little... Oh, no, I didn't want to go back to the level two one. I need to run the level up calculator thingy. Level Rogish archetype. Oh boy. We're gonna go with mastermind. And how'd you roll for HP? I did the character mancer thingy. Oh, maybe I should have done that. Oh well. I think that's it. I think all I get is the... Yep, that's um, all I get. Oh, I get an extra rage. <coughs> Don't forget to level up! Oh, we leveled up. Yep, just did. Hey. I don't want to reroll my HP so bad. Yeah. It's not great. <laughs> Oh well, boy, I get to learn two languages. I'm going to learn Aquin so I can. You're just oh, studying her globally. I just like learned it, learned it by uh, osmosis. <laughs> That's why your battery's so low. You were learning the other people, like the rest of the group's languages. <laughs> doing Rosetta Stone. I'm going to learn Orcish too, because why not? There's an orc in the party. There is. Oh, yeah, there yeah, is the orc lady. Yeah. What do I even know? I know Aquan, Common, Dwarven, and Elven. I, help, I took Mastermind because I get a help action. I can help people that are within 30 feet of me. Hey. I'm helping. Uh, that roll. And I took my Path of the Berserker. So now I'm mad. Don't be mad. Also, girls. Don't get mad. Get madder. Grizz. Grizz. Yes, can, can you hear me? I hear you now. Uh, so, uh, the dice gods clearly don't want me to have very much HP. On a 1d12, I rolled a nat 1. Oh my god. You didn't On use health. The On health. What? You didn't use the level mancer? I didn't know that was a thing, I'd, and I don't know how. If you go to the little gear, there's like a two little like uh, crossed weapon things. One's a level one character mancer, and then there's a level plus character mancer. If you click that, it'll run you through a thing and give you oh. your class options and all that fun stuff, and automatically add all that stuff Section to your one. sheet. 
Yeah. Oh. Make sure that you click the second one, not the first one. Oh. Yeah. Eh, oh well. Uh, that'll automatically add your berserker feet and all that fun stuff. Yeah, it actually automatically added all my features. Mm. Ah, I completely forgot about things like danger sets. That's because I'm not used to playing with a barbarian. I have a, I, I made, I built Helga as a barbarian. Uh, I want to play Holly again at some point. He was fun. Which one was that again? He played. Uh, he in the Orc is still Christmas. Oh yeah. The, ha the half orc. Oh, he was. Cute. Oh, Holly. I thought. I, like for a second there, I thought I misheard because I was like, I've got a character named Holly in my. Uh, in the old Saturday game, um, an NPC. And then I completely forgot. I was like, oh yeah, I love that. The, the, the orchestra, how the orchestral Christmas was a great, it, it, it was pretty great. Probably should have run it as a, as a two to three parter, but. Is that Lyra? Nope, that's Vax. Dang. Ha, I, I knew it was Vax this entire time. Bullshit. <laughs> he's, he's stuck in the face right the microphone. My cat that I had growing up had a really loud purr like you could hear across the room. I don't know if... Babe, does Newton have a loud purr? Not purr, but he does that thing where he'll just meow so that we can hear from other floors of the house. And then you go and find him, and he looks at you and just goes, Ow. Yeah, they do that. You asshole! This, this one will do that sometimes. Uh, Lyra pretty much only does it if, it if she actually needs something, like, to let me know very gently. She, she does it in, in a very gentle way, uh, compared to most cats, to say that, hey, my food bowl is empty. It, it's not just, like, can see the bottom. No, no, it is empty. It's been like this for a little bit. You have to come in here. Please put more food in the bowl. But but only if you have time. Only if it's convenient. Yeah, they actually do that to me. They they they. they I I can hear all the horror stories about people getting woken up in the middle of the night by a cat who's upset that there's a tiny amount of of, of space at the bottom of their bowl. Uh, but these two, they'll their food bowl will be empty overnight, and they'll wait until I've had my shower till they let me know that hey, food bowl's empty. You better be coming Babe? into the kitchen to, to feed it. Yeah. What does Newton sound like when his food bowl's empty? Meow, 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 meow. Is everyone back? I believe so. I'm back. I'm back. Is Fang back? Yep. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> now you're gonna leave Fang behind, huh? I'm <laughs> hoping. <laughs> now the kitty goes with you. Damn it. <laughs> Is this how one acquires a cat? <laughs> did you make the mistake of feeding him? Or her? Yeah, you did this morning! <laughs> yeah, you did, did this her. morning! <laughs> <laughs> you gave us some Alpen meat! <laughs> yeah, but... I may or may not have laced with something. Wow. <laughs> 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 I'm guessing what lax it is because it's about time she gave a shit. <laughs> Fuck, I'm glad that I didn't start drinking just then. <laughs> I wish you would have. Oh, oh shit, what the fuck do you want, dude? Be quick. Be quick. Yeah, I'll mute myself. Hold up. I just, okay. like, I just literally walked in, into the next map and realized that the people from the previous game were still in there. I just left their character tokens in there. Babe, did your mom call? She did. Uh, what's the plan? We'll be hanging out at some point tomorrow, but given that you wanted to do a thing, 
and we weren't sure like what time I wasn't sure what time frame you were wanting to work on stuff with uh with your jewelry. Mm. Okay. Yes. Alrighty then. Guys, I can't see. Guys, I can't. Oh, I can't okay. see. But it's fine. I can see. It's fine. Can you guys see it all? Can you see your tokens? Oh, I. Yeah. I can see each other. Excellent. Or I can uh, see everybody. Good. My eyes were closed, but. You guys see in front of you the the old ruins of what appears to be an ancient castle. At least two uh, floors high that still stand. Um, with la large uh, wooden doors still hung on their frames uh, standing in front of you. You can see bits of vine that have uh, that have slightly grown through it. And you can see vines trolling up the outside that have used the, uh, the ancient stone as um, climbing holds. But the, the castle itself seems to be intact. Someone's popular today. And also, where where are we on the map? Because I don't see us. We're so almost all the way over, dear. Did, did it, did it to the left. Guys? I can only see a random room with fire in it. Nope, go to the left. Well, he he. It's I think it's because he's human and he doesn't have any oh, dark sight. I just but... got dark vision. I just got sixty feet of dark vision. Okay, that will add to your character sheet. Oh yeah, I wasn't sure to add that stat wise. Okay. Yeah, all I can see is a random room in the middle of the map for the fireplace. Yeah, but that really shouldn't be seen, but uh, I guess. Yeah. Problem. I'll try to fix that. I'll fix that on the map, this map eventually someday. Because this is, as I said, this is a game that I've run multiple times. I've pe had people do many different things to it. Sometimes they solve it early. Sometimes, I mean, like I haven't had anybody go all out, uh, except for the very first time I ever ran it, which was my own homebrew system. I think then it, that was the only time that they actually went the full gambit and actually went after the person behind who's behind all this instead of turning the information over. <laughs> but, uh... And there's us talking about office life. That was the first time. Yeah. And did thing the cat. So, this is the representation of the front door. Um... Group of you uh, are now gathered out in front of it. Uh, it looks like the the, uh, the ancient wall that you passed by, the, the wall that's been overgrown with trees, uh, probably was the uh, the the wall of a actual city that was here, or maybe a large town. But whatever it was, it was surrounding the castle. It was most likely other buildings that have now been completely subsumed by. Uh, by the grasses and, and trees in the area. So what would you guys like to do? Well, as we're, like, just, are we, like, just outside the castle at the moment? Yes. Alright, well, as we're right next to the castle, I am going to use Eye of the Grave to see if I can detect any undead. Uh, how far is the distance to being undead? 60 feet. Behind total cover and is protected from divination, so you can't see into the castle because the castle is total cover. Uh, you gaze around the area around the castle, and there's nothing within 60 feet of you. All right, that's at least good to know that the probably not going to come from outside. <laughs> Out of the ground, right? So how shall we proceed from here? Uh, carefully. We want to do stealth, attempt stealth uh, surveillance, or just waltz on it? I think we should try to be quiet, but I don't know how well it will work. Or how long, like how long it would last. But I feel like none of us should split up. I mean, I'm pretty stealthy. How about this? Keen 
and Fang do a little reconnaissance before we before the people who aren't as stealthy goes in. Just so we don't accidentally stumble across undead or anything else. So let's see if Keen trips over his tail like he usually does. Nope. Oh god. Remember, stick together. Yeah, I don't know, like I can't move any further. There's like a wall here. Yeah, because the door's closed. Okay, so I guess just, is it locked? Let's let's answer that question. Is it locked? Testing out the door. Fuck it, totally was just I'm investigating the, the door. door. So you just against the door and discover it is not trapped and it is not locked. Pushing it open. Or pulling it open. I don't know. What does it have a sign? Uh do you wanna do you wanna try and uh maybe use sleight of hand to open it maybe? So it doesn't make so much noise or something? I'm not thinking. a little bit, but uh, not too much. And reveals a rather, it reveals a, uh, a large main hall. You see dust covering the floors. You see the occasional looks like um, ah, it looks like old broken rep, we, weapons kind of laying in bits and pieces. You see the ripped rim remnants of tapestries that are mostly been pulled apart, probably by uh, scavengers, uh, like rats and such. Uh, you see the uh, the large fire, what was probably an ornate fireplace back in its day, across the, across the room, now hung heavy with uh, with dust and shadows. And you see what appears to be a throne room uh, to the south. So, dust on the floor, wise. Any footprints? Um, so I'm gonna continue on with that investigation check before we roll. And yes. You do see uh, footprints that are, seem to be heading primarily towards the north. Oh, wait, sorry. Primarily to towards uh, this section, but there's also some heading uh, heading towards the north. Which is the heaviest? Like, mostly this way? Yes, it's heading towards the south stairs. Or, yeah, sorry, not north, uh, the east. So, pointing that out to the party. So shall we go east? Toru is just like itching to go, but she knows she probably should not go before these two. Come on, Tulula. Obviously be careful, but let's stay close enough if they get into trouble we can help. Do we want to head to the, like, move to the south? Like, or do we want to go north? I mean, it's going east. Looking around the room, you see the two, you do see the two sets of stairs. The one up, going up to the east and the one going up to the south. And then there are two doors, two sets of doors, uh, both to the north. There's this one over here, and there's this one right here. Do we want to open doors or go upstairs? I mean, we're here. We might as well open a couple doors. Keen's gonna take a gander at this door. Do you need more investigating? No, we're gonna we'll go through the entire room with the twenty-three. That'll work for me. Uh, you look at the door again. Not trapped. Not locked. Oh, I already. I I forgot to put the back last time I played. <laughs> so. Yeah, you, th these doors are actually ajar, and you can see all the way into the kitchen. Or what was probably one, at one time an, a, a you know a nice serviceable kitchen, but has long since been um, abandoned. Oh, don't don't hear anything down that way. I do hear the occasional skitter of rats squeaking. So get him, Fangtail! Go get him! I would like to try and pounce on one of these rats. Oh my god. I'm just gonna walk in and make sure she doesn't get killed. 
tiny little How would you like me to roll, Grizz, to try and capture one of these rats? Oh, fuck. You go to look for, for a single rat and discover that there's actually a, two swarms in, in here that immediately go... go oh right my god. <laughs> fuck, here we go. So, uh, about catching one of those rats... Um... Oh my god. <sighs> well, that's a good roll, considering Nori is not really paying attention to what's happening up above him. I thought, I, I, thought I, I had better my... roll. <laughs> Sorry, Grizz, I thought I had my uh, token selected. Mine's a, a four. Oh god, this ain't good. Hi, yes, I would like to try and skewer one of these rats with my short sword. The one closer to me, of course. Of course. Of course. And here we go. Bloop. Managed to cut through at least two of the rat individual rats in that swarm. Their bodies kind of skittering off, but you know, it's basically sliding off to the side. While some other rats just tend to happen to be uh, opportunists, then go and start ripping them to shreds. Rats, after finishing the shreds of their fellow rats, swarm over, around your legs and start biting, biting, biting. <laughs> 13 hit you. Uh, does a 13 hit me? Surprisingly, yeah. no. My AC is 14. Good for you. Yeah. Ha ha. You just kind of feel they're swarming around your boots at the moment. Hey, Grizz, you're super quiet for me. Sorry, I pushed, I pushed my my, head, my okay. microphone got pushed off to the side. Sorry. You're fine. You're fine. I heard all of it. It was just very quiet. Kel, you're hearing commotion right. coming from the uh, the area to the north. All right. I'll run here, and I see swarms all over Tallulah and uh, and Keen. Swarming, yep, swarming around her legs and Keen. They they they're jumping up on him, on her. Climbing up her, uh, her her clothes and you know trying to bite her. Hmm. Did they actually do me any damage? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, not you, Fang. Sorry, I meant to say. Okay, that. okay. I thought you said because you said Keen, and I'm like, I'm behind those two. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> my brain. Just making sure. I have a spell that'll blast them, but it can hurt you guys a little bit. Are you okay with it? Does it do more than 19 points of damage? Because Keen's a little... No. <laughs> but it'll, it'll hurt you. But it'll help deal with them. Just aim most of it at the cat. <laughs> but Keen's right behind the dumb cat. How <laughs> <laughs> good your aim? Decent. Keen, you're a small target. So I will attack at the swarm around... Uh... Um, oh. Or on Fangtail, and I'm preparing Hail of Thorns for it. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's not bad. Alright, go for it. If the 16 hits, it yep, does, does hit. an extra d8 of damage on that attack. Alright. Uh, and what's the area on there? I believe it's a 5 foot radius. It is. Oh, that's 10 feet behind, so I'm fine. If these squares are ten feet, what? Wait, are they? Are they? Are they five yeah. feet? Five feet. Or five feet. Okay. I'm still not in the same five foot square that depends. You know. Yeah. So if you're within five feet of, you technically have to make the save. Yeah, okay. So, so what's the save? So Keen, Tulula, uh, you both need. You all need to do that. Yay! Deck saves. Feet and you and you take half. 
Do I take four? I take... I don't know. Oh, wait. No, I take all of it, don't I? Uh, did you succeed or fail? I failed. So you take eight damage. <coughs> Are you raging? No. Okay. Raging What's the yet. DC? Wait, what was the DC? 12. Oh, 12. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. So you good. take four. So yep. If you succeed, you take four. If you fail, you take eight. Yeah, you also noticed that it didn't seem to do much damage to those rats. But Came it in. probably did more oh. damage to Fang than the rats. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Thanks. I love it. I love being in pain. Ah, if someone could have told me no, and I lose my other. I was. Yeah, you skewer one rat out of that swarm, and I'll stand here, out of the way, out of the swarm. So Hilga moves into over here. She pulls down her uh, short bow and takes aim at the rats. And unfortunately misses. Well, Can we trade her back? A little tag alongs are kind of useless. What? She cooked you but... dinner! Alright, Keen is just gonna try to skewer some rats with his short sword. All right, because they're around Fang. If you uh, miss significantly, <laughs> if, if you oh, miss, no. or her, no, uh, it, it, she doesn't get hit either. Oh, but I'm also God. going to help Tallulah, so whatever. Come on, Clicky. I help you. You can do it. Nice. Hold or on. that's not it. I clicked the wrong damn thing. Oh, that's 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 that. Mm, help actually, I help you. Help you get. Uh, I don't know what it, it basically gives you. I think advantage because I helped. Yeah, it's the help action, so it gives her advantage on her next action. So, is that what it sounds like? Yeah, it's it's basically a a help, but I can use it as a bonus action. I'm not sure. And you can if, do it from further away. Yeah. It is now Tallulah's turn. Sorry, I was reading up on something. Alright. Fuck it, we're just gonna go... Rats. I <laughs> was gonna move up here, though. Uh, so... I'm going to go ahead and hit it this one. With my great sword. Oh, rage, ignore that. Rage, got it. All right, you caught a few of them down. Sweet. That's, uh... I think that's it. I can attack it? Or I is it... Think... What? I'm confused. What, what'd you ask? Uh, you don't get a second attack yet at third level? Or is that, I'm thinking fighter, maybe? That's what I believe when they get reckless attack. Ah, okay. I have a reckless yeah, attack. I just don't want to use it yet. Yeah, Hil Hilga is also a, a barbarian, so I just looked at her her stats for that too. Nori, gonna move over here and use Word of Radiance to hit the two rat two forms of rats. Does it hit any of your companions, or is it one of those ones? That you no, can it use? it's ones that I can just choose the targets. You tickle them for one point of damage. <laughs> well, they if have they to don't... make a thing. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't save. How do you split one? Do they do zero if they save? <laughs> well, no, it, it just does no damage. Nori, go home. Uh, <laughs> I, I just put on a light show at the moment. You PPK to two swarms of rats. <laughs> does that mean that they get health back? <laughs> no. Thanks, it's yeah. just a light show at the moment. <laughs> Although those are dexterity saves. But they still succeed, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, it was supposed to be con save, but yeah. I'm all pretty right. sure they would save anyway. Hold on. Unless they so get a plus both, one. Both plus zero on, on dexterity. Oh, it's negative one on con. Hold on. One of them took oh, which hit. means one of them took a damage. <laughs> Yay! Woo! <laughs> there you go. Fangtail. You did one thing. Fang tail will wait. 
And they still on me. They are. <laughs> I'm going to stab at my feet to kill some more. And shot sword. 17. Alright. Are they dead yet? Definitely hits. But you keep noticing that whenever time you, you swing your sword, you're not doing... Because there are individual rats inside of a huge swarm, you're, you're not... Inflicting as much damage as you would do against a, a solid opponent. But I'm not doing the stabby stab. I'm doing a slashy. Same deal. Stabby. Oh. Yeah, still classified as piercing. Nice try. Rats, it's still swarming around you. That misses. Second swarm. Hmm. Second swarm continues to to hassle Tallulah. Oh fuck me. And uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see how much damage have they already taken? Nope, they're not half yet. So you take uh, thirteen points of damage, Tallulah, as they swarm around your ankles. And start getting into your boots if you have any, and start just biting, 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 biting. Do they make turtle sized boots? Well, they, they make minotaur sized boots, so clearly they make turtle sized boots. Hell, even giants have boots. Kel. Um. Hmm. I can't do much against a swarm, so I will just go here and fire over Nori's shoulder. Two shots at the uh, at the swarm Tallulah was in. Okay. Well, Only one hits. it doesn't seem to do much damage. Yep, that's all I can do. Closer and fire at the one that's still harrowing uh, Fangtail. Hey, you go, little guy. That hit. Oh, that does actually hit. They have, despite being small, they don't have much IC. So you hear some squeaks and squeals as an arrow pierces through one and drags it out of the swarm. I forgot I have pack tactics. I get advantage on attack rolls. Yes, you do. Anytime there's an ally within five feet of the, of the enemy. Hey, boy. Go ahead. Take that nice. <coughs> you managed to slash. And start oh, it's not done rolling. Hey, come here. It may you... roll someday. Where the hell is my I sneak attack? Uh, yeah, the, you. It doesn't matter. They, they, you, you pierce them for more damage than this particular swarm has. But I want to do my sneak attack. No. <laughs> <laughs> you I don't know why it's in there. It goes. You finally rolled a whole bunch. Uh, a whole, you know, basically, what you didn't skewer on on your single thrust of the short sword, uh, ran away. Uh, and you now have, um, let's see, how many rats are, are, are currently on your short sword? You currently have three rats that are just have just barely stopped twitching on your short I was sword. Who's doing this this swarm here, the one in front of Tallulah? Oh. If that matters. Well, then they're probably not dead yet. Because Tallulah looks like she got beat up, so... Well, they look like they have less hit points than the other one, or is that the bar? That's, uh, th these ones have almost no hit points, and... Okay, those, more. I did 12 to those, okay. I guess. Okay, I'll do, I'll, I'll accept that. They're still alive. And then, I'm helping Tallulah again. Okay, Tallulah. Because she's the only one after me. You have well, I guess Nori is, even after her, but she's the next in line. Tallulah, you have advantage on your next... All right. You take, you swing, you sta st stab through some more of them. But there's still more left. Okay, hold on. I 
make your first check on you. Are you looking at Reckless Attack to see what it does? Yeah. You don't need it because Keen's helping you. You get advantage anyway. Well, yeah, I was reading to try and figure out what it was. Okay. Alright, that's it for it, me. It gives you advantage, but then, then any, the next attack uh, next attack on you also gets advantage on you. Mm. So I'm giving you the advantage without the disadvantage, okay. quite happily. I think she's looking to see if it gave extra attacks. Yep. Alright, take two of World of Radiance. Fucking <laughs> hell. Well then. Lord, like, have you been actually like communing with your god? Because you. <laughs> Holy crap! Uh. The, GM is dis the, the dice gods have, have made their presence known, and they are displeased. Silver mining. They both failed. I know, right? Failed okay. did more damage. Uh. You're not very good at this, are you? <laughs> uh, hello? Can what? barely hear you. It's your turn, Fangtail. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, you uh, can see on the turn order, Jesse. Get shit together, come on. Uh, 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 uh stabby. Oh. And that misses. I know. Yeah, of course it does. Well, that's all I can do. <laughs> Alright, well, I know three individuals I have. I want to have a gift receipt on. Alright, so the first one with rats goes after uh, Fangtail. Uh, Will hit? You're not gonna hit me. Hey, it didn't hit me! Okay, and the next swarm will go after... I'm very surprised. Oh, continue to go after Tallulah. Oh, God. And oh, hello, fucking Luya. <laughs> Kel. All right. Um, can I? I still can't really do much because all of my stuff is piercing. Same here. <laughs> so I will just. At least I get sneak attack, I guess. I fire into the injured, uh, the more injured swarm. They're but equal oh, at I this click point. on the mark. They're equal at this point. Oh, sorry. Ignore so, the hunter's mark. So I clicked that on. So which one? That one. All right. And with a Does big that squeal, you hear it die. Okay. And then, oh, I missed on the other one. All right. Does he hit Fangtail instead? Actually, he would at this distance. Oh, you Fangtail, motherfucker. You, you, you feel a, a searing pain as a bolt sizzles into your leg. Uh, cucks. I'll go left Man, with an arrow. It's... No, pretty much halfway. And it takes out the last of the rats. But uh, currently, Fangtail has a bolt stuck in her leg, and she's bleeding. Uh, so I was just gonna walk I... by and like pull the bolt out. <laughs> no, I was gonna do something. Oh my god! Uh, to that roll a one d four. I was I was going to start doing the whole Ace Ventura thing. Oh, I love that. Uh... <laughs> Ah! Oh god. Ah! Uh, Tallulah, you, 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 since you weren't being cautious, you pulled the, the thing out and you ruptured something. More blood comes scooting out on, onto the floor. You gotta be. You take, oh my god. You take four points of damage from that fangtail. Alright, while, while this happens, like after it happens, Nori's uh, like. I'm sitting oh. down. Nori's just gonna go, oh my god, here. And I will ca cast Prayer of. Healing yep, ten for minutes. Fangtail, Keen, and is it ten minutes? It's a ten. Yeah, it's a ten minute cast time, but it's but it's uh, more healing dice than cure wounds. So, I'd be fine uh, with it though. So this particular room is most clearly an old kitchen. Oh, uh, you see true. various um, ancient pipes that are, that are like you know very tarnished um, and are the like, clogged with uh, bits of rat rats and mice nesting building materials. Uh, there are little little tiny rat bones and mice bones and things like that in various corners. Uh, and there's an odor that basically says that, you know, rats have made this their home for a very long time. Uh, I just walk over to Kel and give him his bolt back. 
I'm not washing it off, y'all. Just. And yes, there is a door. Sorry, to the to the to the east here at this point. Yeah, I, th I think we we'll chill for like for ten minutes so I can heal them up. If with you use prayer. it, it will take twenty. Really, a twenty-minute ritual? I thought it was a ten minutes. If you add ten minutes to cast a ritual onto whatever the cast time already is, if I recall. For ritual think, casting. Because that one you would only cast as a ritual. Yeah, if it's, if it's something you only cast as a ritual, then it's automatically ten minutes. So anyway, do you think that says instant in the book you can cast as a ritual for ten, take ten minutes to rise to the ritual. If it's and not instant, then it's whatever the casting time is, pretty much. Okay. So it's ten minutes to cast to cast the healing. Tulu is oh, yeah. like laying on her back, like rocking. Just there you go. Everyone gets twelve points of health back. Yay! Yeah. Nori, you're my savior. Better than the bloody turtle. Uh, anyway, thanks for that, Nori. Pardon me. What? Oh, yeah. yeah, Nori. Hi. It's nice to see a second number after a one. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I was uh, doing damage at least. I wasn't missing. I didn't miss. I missed once. Several people did miss. Looks at Kel. <laughs> if some try hitting a screaming, wriggling rat while it's climbing on top of a cat that can't sit still. <laughs> Meow? Fang, how's your leg? Better now, thanks to Nori. Walks over and just pats it. I mean, it should be healed, right? Alright? See, you didn't die, you're fine. Come on, Fuzzy. Uh, King, do you want to open that door? I uh, want to check it out first. Yeah. I don't know that I want to open any more fucking doors in this place. Rats, rats, rats. Seems to be unlocked. I'm going to open it. Right. Crack open the door and you see a what was most likely the dining hall at one point. Uh, bits of debris just kind of litter the floors. Uh, looks like uh, a, an old uh, long table uh, made of stone that's been cracked in half and just left strewn in the middle of the room. Uh, Still bits of cloth that apparently the rats and or mice didn't uh, it didn't uh, carry off anywhere. Uh, looks like there were at one point a tapestry that are just kind of like laying in bits in in, in chunks uh, on the floor by the walls. Probably in its heyday, it was kind of a nice room. But nothing obviously moving. Nothing obviously moving. Steps inside and. Notices more doors. The position it most likely just goes back towards the uh, the main hall again. He's paranoid. He's gonna check this one too. Trapped, uh, not uh, not locked. All seems well with that door. Doesn't look like anybody's touched it in a long time. Does everybody want to come in this room before I open it? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. He's just gonna sit oh, back for a actually, little bit. I do want to check real quick for um, my remaining lost bolts. I'm missing three. Damn. Nope. All, you find them, but they're all broken. Whatever. It, it seems like, you know, the harder floor here just kind of crushed them. Alright. I'm back. Once everybody's in here, he'll open the door. Mm -hmm. The 
the expected corridor uh, that leads to another um, door at the end. Yeah. Any footprints or anything? With that investigation check, you notice that there are no... Oh, footprints. sorry, I was rolling another one, but... That's okay, yeah. I, I was just playing off of the 24, so yeah, we don't have to roll Good thing, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll use, like, the one investigation check for an entire room, just to, you know... Just Make it easier, like, yeah. Yeah. Make your life easier, so you're not, like, rolling every time. I've learned my lesson about that. <laughs> but yeah, no, no footprints, no evidence that anyone's been in a very long time. He's just gonna go down the hallway to the next set of doors. I mean, I'm assuming it's gonna open up into the thing we were in. Yeah, to see the, uh, the old dusty uh, hall. I yeah, mean, that was good exciting. To be, it's good to be thorough. It's good to make sure we don't miss anything. Agreed. So, uh... What? South or... We might as well just go around in a circle, so... Yeah. This one I right here. I guess we're already here, so yeah. Yeah. Is that a door or just stairs? That's just stairs going up. You want me to sneak up, or do you guys just want to go? Uh, I mean, sneak up would be... Probably would be better. Uh, before we do go on, though, I want to cast a spell on Tallulah. Huh? What about Tallulah? Just, just as a safety precaution, seeing as she took the most damage in our last encounter, I'll cast this on her. Warding Bond. As long as she's willing, obviously. She gets a plus one to AC and saving throws, and has resistance to all damage. You have more also, hit points than her. <laughs> also, each time I was fine to... Oh, okay. The only downside is, I'll start taking damage if you take damage. <laughs> So you put it on the Barbarian. I mean, you took the most damage out of yeah, in the fight. It's a give and take, though, considering Barbarians take half damage when they're raging. Mm -hmm. To certain damages. What, do you want me to put it on someone else? No. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you get a plus one to AC and saving throws. Sure, that's a good thing. Definitely a good thing, especially with her. Are you saying I'm reckless? Yes. You literally have a feature called reckless. <laughs> <laughs> and another one called frenzy. Fangtail, hurry up! I want to go up the stairs! I mean, Keen, Keen did pretty good, but I gotta drag Fangtail with me. No. Keen, you are very stealthy. You can probably sneak on ahead and check the, get the lay of the land. Nori told me I had to stick together. I gotta hang out with the kitty cat. <laughs> Not leaving someone by themselves. Even if that someone is Fang? Even if that someone is Fang. Fuck. Sadly. Are we gonna have to take her bag with us? No. No. Once we're done here, we're leaving her here. Oh, I thought you were going to say we can tire to the train tracks. Fuck. <laughs> Hi, I mean, Welcome back, Jesse. What the fuck did I hear? Nothing. Anyway, you, you and... You're tying me up the tracks? <laughs> you, me? And, you and Kina to go on ahead, so roll your... Stealth check. Oh, okay. Stealth check. Got it. Oop. I'm very stealthy. Not as good as Kane, but fuck you. Um. Wait, where are we going? Uh, we're going. The stairs that way. we are all currently on. Which way? Get through there. You can, you can get through. Pa past uh, Calvin, Tulula, and. No, I literally oh, can't go through. Oh, sorry, I forgot that there was... Ah. 
My bad. I completely forgot that the dynamic lighting was set up that way. And ignore that. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot, I forgot how I set up the dynamic lighting for that. There you guys go. You're now on the stairs. Mm -hmm. Heading up. Do I hear anything in this, like, hallway-looking thing ahead of me? Check. I will also do that. Hey! Everything. Bang, and pretty much the only thing you can hear is the sound of Keen's breathing. You're breathing very loudly. <laughs> Keen blinks. I guess, call the others up? Or do we, I don't know how far ahead we want to get. I mean, we can move up a little bit more, I think. Uh, but then you want to peek down the other side? Tulula's just like I'll pacing up, this way. up and down the stairs. Another dusty set of, hall, of hallways that uh, have doors on the other side. Two sets Footprints of doors, go. Two sets of I'm sorry. South. There are some extremely faint footprints that seem to be heading just around the doors drain all the way to the eastern door over here. Oh. Uh, yeah. Call the others back up here, up here then, I guess. Welcome back. Back. The noises. You guys go up? Yeah, yeah, if we get caught up, we go up. All right. Yeah, you get your little, like, hoo -hoo 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 or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an owlbear! Hey guys? guys? All right. There, what? There's, there's pitta patter down these halls. Say so there's a sound down the hallway? Uh, well, more like down the hallway, th there's a door, and I can hear footsteps. Well, let's check every corner we can, so which side do we want to start on? I think it's just a loop. Although there's doors, I guess, on either side, huh? Yeah, I, there's a door here, here. Yeah, I see that now. The doors are a little hard to see. Like, if you do it again, don't do them in black, because they blend in with the the dynamic lighting thing. Yeah. So which doors do we want to start with? Maybe this one here? Alright. Keen, you're our door expert. Go. Oh, I'm gonna check the door. <laughs> I heard noises coming from east. Not locked and not trapped. And you said, where are the noises coming from? Over here? Noises. East, I think it was. I, I said that that's where the footprints were leading. But ones that uh, you were looking at in the dust, the, the old ones. Oh, I thought you said going I here or it. here, or over All here. Over to the east. Okay, so I'm just gonna open it. Yay! Open the door. In, and you see, it was most likely some kind of bedroom back in the day. Uh, it's just it's everything's covered in dust. There's only a bits of a frame left of the bed and uh, a fireplace. Uh, all made of stone in the corner. Do I hear any rats? <laughs> oh god, not if I want rats. Those check? are bad no, rats. You do, not, you do not hear any more rats. Okay, thank god. <laughs> Alright, I guess that there's nothing here and no apparent other doors or anything. And we're good with it. Move on to the next one. I guess same investigation check, so it worked. <laughs> Same sort of room as the previous one, just a, what was probably just a bedroom or maybe a guest room of some kind. Um, that's I think you said the steps go here, right? Yeah. yeah. You see the, still see the faint outline of, of old footsteps um, that look like, you know, some time ago at this point, traced in the dust. Well, it's time to go through those doors. And you don't want to do the two to the south? They're probably more bedrooms, but... Yeah, this probably. Looks like at one point, it was the master bedroom. Uh, it has... Um, what looks like was one, what one point a dusty four-poster bed. A rather an ornate fireplace uh, with bits of soot laying at the bottom. Uh, above the fireplace, it looks like there was um, the outline of something that removed. It looks like uh, there was some kind of large mirror or something, or maybe a painting uh, that used to be uh, 
up there above the fireplace because you can tell by the, the dust imprint that it was there for a long time and much more recently taken away. Um, it looks like uh, the footsteps that you were the following here lead over to the fireplace and then uh, head back through the door. I'm gonna go check out the fireplace. Same here. I doubt there's anything in there. It's probably just somebody stealing or taking the painting. So I will assist Keen. How assisting are you being? Not very. <laughs> Not very. <laughs> it looks like a fireplace. He yeah, nods. You can easily fit inside of it, Keen. It, it is that big and ornate of a fireplace. It's like, so you yeah. kind of like st stick in and it's, you know, kind of cozy considering you're a kobold. Um, it's almost like being inside a vending machine again, except there's a easier way out. Though there's no fun snacks inside there. Okay, so this is probably a stupid question, but is there anything that, like, any fresh soot or anything in the fireplace? That investigation check? Yes, uh, as uh, Keen retreats back from it after having done a thorough examination of the fireplace, and as far as he's concerned. Uh, you notice that he is definitely trailing some fresh soot. Uh, so Keen? He's fallen on his head. Keen. I point to the floor. He frowns and, like, uses some of his, uh, canteen water to wash his feet. So this has clearly been used recently. You know what? Tallulah's just gonna dig through the soot. It's like, you know, less than an inch on the ground, so there's like really nothing there. It just looks like, you know, somebody probably burned something, but roll an investigation check anyway. There could be a trap door! Yep, there could be, so roll an investigation check anyway. You find the uh, burnt ed edge of what looks like a piece of paper. Uh, however, it you can't make out any, any writing on it. It just looks like somebody burned some kind of letter or... You know, pages from a book or something uh, in this fireplace at some point recently. Hmm. Puts it in my shell. <clears throat> Lego. Keen, do your thing. This is when I investigate good, when it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, like, look into yet another another room that's the same as the ones above. Looks like these are all identical rooms down here. The only one... Yep, just open that place. last one up, I guess. <coughs> Let's see the same disappointing uh. sight. <sighs> well... To where was just gonna start walking downstairs. Yep, down... Yep. Back yep, down, down we, go. we go. To the next location. Yeah. I can't get through. I'm stuck again. I'm trapped. I'm trapped like Just a rat. Tell and, and, and bang tail to get over here. Babe, let's go. Tell you coming? Yeah. Is my did my token move? It, it did now. <laughs> Back you go into the into the main hall. These yeah. guys now. Yeah, those stairs now. Yep, Keen and bang tail first. Tulu like starts to walk up the stairs and is like, "God damn it!" <laughs> we don't want to get caught off guard. I can be sneaky. <laughs> Just looks at Tulu. You do not look like you're a very sneaky one. Kind of giggles to herself. Fangtail, come on! I'm coming. I want to trip Fangtail so bad. Well, you can't because I'm behind you. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, but you so have to go around you're me. You're supposed to be with Keen, so you have to get uh, past him. Uh, I guess. Rolling stealth, Fangtail? Uh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I was about to ask if she gets a nat 1, can I have tripped her? <laughs> she did. And oh. a lot of noise as she goes up the stairs. Where Keen is just sneaking along. Tolula. Uh, I didn't mean to trip her. Bullshit. Are you, 
<laughs> Maybe. What did you ask to roll? <laughs> Insight. Perception checks, please. Perception? Yeah, Keen Fangtail, please roll perception. Perception time. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay, Fangtail, you need to stop rolling. <laughs> hey, I was rolling good beforehand, okay? I, I, I just need to get a decent roll without, you know, being tripped. Keen, you think you see movement up, up in the corridor ahead, like something moving around the, the, around the side of the, the hall here. <coughs> Can the guys downstairs see me? Uh, no, you're, you're like at the top of the steps and they're, the, they're like at the bottom. He would he would scooch back down and and oh, let them know that he's there's something moving up there. Tallulah is going up the stairs. Be quiet. We can get the quietly. Door. Yep. Oh. I'm gonna try you quiet now. <laughs> Trying to see how awful rolls. Everyone else roll uh, stealth. Uh, Fangtail's already making a lot of noise. Turtle is stealthier than you, kitty cat. Oh. <laughs> Someone put a bell on her. <laughs> on her tail, tail, maybe? I ain't a pet! <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a somebody, reference. So, somebody pulled a... So, somebody pulled a... a, uh, a Nixia. <laughs> I'm not the cat. <laughs> Don't worry, Fangtail. I know how you feel. I mean, you're a turtle. You are a pet. Um... <sighs> Here she was being nice to you, and you threw it back in her face. <laughs> hey, she he tripped me. <laughs> she that tripped me. Me. Yeah, uh, as you're looking down this corridor, you do see that there is, looks like a, he a heavy door still on its hinges here, as well as uh, the, the corridor bending towards the west. So whereabouts did I see the movement down this down here? Yeah, you saw the movement like heading around the corner. Maybe we should forego this door. And just for now. Here. I was kind of thinking that, like, just go just... see what that was in case it's something going to get help. Yeah, or... I agree. I'm fine with that. Kent's gonna peek his head around the corner. Or is everyone... yeah. Okay, everyone. Sure. Uh, I mean, they're all clunking down the hallway if it hasn't hurt us by now, but I'll peek around the corner. Alright, give me a second. Are you saying that I have heavy footsteps? What, do you want to stealth again? Uh, no, or... give me one second, I need to, to, okay. to get the right page. Uh... Keen, are you saying I have heavy footsteps? Clunk. Oh, no, the cat. The cat <laughs> clunking down the hallway. Shh. We're trying to be stealthy. <laughs> oh my god. Shut up. Lori, well, next time she's in a tree, do I have permission to cut the tree down? Somebody step yes. on her tail and she just went <laughs> in the middle of the hallway. You Where do. I got no fucking tripped. What are you talking about? Can I strangle yeah, so... her in her sleep? Um, can, can, I have a... her... can I give her a high five in the face with my fist? Or maybe <laughs> not the time and I don't want to die in a foreign country. Baby, no, I'm kidding. I know. But we're technically talking in character. And now is not the time. My name's not Bob. It is always the time. All no. right, P. Bob. Somewhere from the afterlife, Bob is crying. All right, P. Bob. <laughs> you know, I oh, it feels like I ate my weight in nacho cheese the night Bob died. What was that, darling? I said, I think I, it feels like I ate my weight in nacho cheese the night Bob died. I mean, that was so, a rough day. So, Keen, you poke your head around the table, uh, around the thing, and you see five skeletons heading back down the corridor. Towards us, or? Towards you. Okay, uh. Meep! Hey, guys! Mm. Uh -huh. Skeletons! Hearing that, Tallulah rages. Ah, uh, Fang stands. Stand, starts walking backwards. Keen does not like Laurie, being in front of the party. <laughs> get out of the way. He, he's going to like, Laurie, uh, yeah, ju juggle for position and get 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 behind people, or further behind. 
Behind Tallulah. Oh, time to roll initiative, everyone. Yep. And I'll have my short swords out. Keen rolled a big number. <laughs> Wait, did that not work? How did that not work? I'm, I'm literally, I. <sighs> PC. Y'all got some weird birds there. Oh yeah. Did Helga not come with us? Uh, I must not not have picked her up properly. There she is. No, she was Look, right behind you. I thought. She, uh, I don't. I don't know if she can fit in a bag of holding. So we can't. She can't be a coward. You guys don't have a bag of holding. At least not yet. Just saying. Oh my nose, man. God. Sorry. Okay. Is it allergies? Keen. No, it's just that I got a new tattoo. All right, so Keen. So. Oh boy. Keen is gonna step out into the hallway. Fire off a shot at the lead skeleton. What? And then I'm gonna step back and attempt to hide. Okay. In the, in the hallway. You can probably hide behind uh, Tallulah. So as long as you I don't. I don't do very good. My butt's sticking out. Because there's no real obstructions in the hallway except for other people, so Tallulah would be a perfect obstruction. <laughs> yeah, I guess if, yeah, that works. I'm behind. <laughs> and I'm gonna help Tallulah. Got it. Fangtail. Hi, it is me, the one and only Fangtail. Adorable. We're fucked. I am your kid. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Uh, give me a second here. Let me have a look. I'm going to hum at Tallulah. Hum yeah, I'm going to hum. Why? It's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any. I mean, I only went one level in Bard, just, just, just to one up the Bard that we had. Well, the Bard that you had. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah. So yeah, Salula, you hear humming, and somehow you feel inspired by this. Y'all are putting a lot of faith in me. Oh hell's yeah! Chop Always. off their heads. Be the best damn turtle there ever was. I want to be the very best. I don't know. Did the like squirrel I just knew? ever was. The, the skeleton gets into position and fires a short bow at Tallulah. She's literally a squirtle. Uh, no, if only she was a ranger. Miss. Nope, nope. If only Tallulah. she was a ranger. Alright, Tallulah says fuck this. Tallulah would like to rage? I, I raged before... As soon as Keen Yeah, Keen said, said skeletons uh -oh. and she went Rawr! Okay. <laughs> yeah. So she went Rawr. <laughs> that's already uh taken care of. So I'm gonna go for this bastard. The one who just shot at you. Got it. She sort of went raw. Oop, I forgot Help. to add rage. Uh, well, I helped, so. anyway. The fourteen misses? Uh she didn't say anything about reckless. I helped her. Oh yeah. action. Sorry, I didn't hear that part. Yeah, that, that, so with your rage, that would kill, destroy that skeleton. The skeleton's just, uh, head separates, and the body, and the bones just collapse into a pile along with the short bow. Just one hit from a great axe. I mean, do I want to use frenzy? I don't know. It's up to you. Fuck it, why not? Five, ten, one level, so I'm trying to... Mm, no, I'm good. I'm good with where I'm at. 
That's my turn. Okay. Next skeleton takes aim with its bow and fires at Tallulah. Negative. She still has the plus one AC, or how long does that yeah, last? Yeah, that lasts for an entire hour. Okay. I don't know how long we've been plumping around in this place. Ten minutes at most. So yeah, she still has the plus one. Oh, I forgot. Twenty minutes because of the the ten minute interlude in the uh, in the kitchen. But he cast that after that, I think. Yeah, I cast that before we went up the stairs. Next skeleton also fires out at a bow at Ethelula. Seeing a theme here with the twelve. <laughs> <laughs> 12, 12, 12, yeah, they can't handle her fury. Yeah, Tallulah's just like standing here, like. As uh, arrows bounce off your shell. And some just clatter to the ground before they even get to you. Nori's gonna come over to here. And whack! Oh. And that God damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. And that's Tallulah in character, like, god <laughs> damn it. What do you Kel? Right, well, to start off, I'll need to, uh, over here and see what it- Oh! Nice! That's an I, will... For you. I will move here, and with, um, with my short swords in hand, I will attack once. And I forgot to set up the thing. Does that hit at all? That's what I thought. Does that hit? That hits. Awesome. So six damage and then offhand attack. That only does six damage. That kills it. So the skeleton just falls apart when it strikes. Then I'll just shimmy back right there. Have fun, Tallulah. Gets down here, and we'll fire an arrow at one of the skeletons. Oh, it double hit for some reason. Uh, that misses, unfortunately. Keen! Can I squeeze through all these people there in the hallway? Yeah, you're a kobold. You can, you can do that. Only but I thought only halflings could do that. Uh, they can... Uh, only a halfling can occupy the same space. Okay. Uh, and not get disadvantage uh, for doing so. Uh, I, you, as a kobold, and, and you can press by because these are your companions. Uh, they, unless they say that, no, I'm not going to let Keen buy, they'll let you buy. Hilga Hil will let you buy, so you can get by them. I do this thing where you move your token and it makes the line. Excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> Is it spacebar? I forget. It doesn't matter. That's 10 feet, do, right? I'm not sure. That's yes. 20 feet there. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't, I don't want to move out in front of Nori. Oh, what the hey? I'll move out. In, well, no, I would have to move into Nori, which I can't do. So, uh, just shoot him with a bow. Uh, the, the front one here. Boop. And yeah, but I don't. Well, I know I don't get sneak attack because he's not within five feet of anybody. All right, and then I'm helping Tallulah again because I like helping Tallulah. <laughs> Tallulah. Tallulah likes you helping her. <laughs> Fangtail. Fangtail. Yeah, the best person that ever was to live. Oh fuck. Very helpful <laughs> to people. Meh. <sighs> I am the greatest. I didn't know you were talking about Keen. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice of you. Okay, so I can move. How fast am I? I am 30. Okay, so if I rush down to here and then go back here. Okay, I'm going to go down to here. I'm going to try and shoot past Keen to the skeleton. With the bow, with a short bow. 
that. And that kill that that breaks that one apart. You see the skull just kind of like get pierced by the arrow, and the skull gets like thrown back into the door that's behind that, and it slams. And cool, and I still have down. ten feet of movement. So, back I go. Ten feet. Palula. I'm gonna go here. Yeah, you go there. Go, go, go. You got this. You destroy another skeleton. Bits of powder are all that's left. And uh, so let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20. I still have 10 feet. Twenty-five. Would if I move here, would that be an attack of opportunity? No. You have to move okay. away out of its. Okay. Well, I'm gonna move there then. That's it. Skeleton turns, dropping its sharp bow as it grabs up its short sword and goes to stab you. Nope. Not with my plus one AC. Yeah, my plus one AC came in handy. <laughs> And I'm you know, just gonna run up and whack. Oh, holla, fucking Mia! <laughs> and it's budgeting damage. Yep. You did so good. One shatters, leaving the cor corridor empty of skeletons. I, I didn't get any budgeting cards. All right, now we can check the doors. I'm gonna pick up arrows. I'm sure that there's plenty laying around from the skeletons, so I'm yeah. assuming I have the two back that I got lost. Tulu's gonna like stalk over to Fangtail. Hello. Thank you. What did I do? You hum good. And just like tap <laughs> her on the back. I I I what good? I, I was I was just humming to myself. So you're so you're saying that you liked my humming that well. Is that what you say? It was very inspiring. A little bit awkward. Okay, I'm I that I could inspire no, you. It's fine. I'll just retract wow. it. Your ass is getting kicked out of the next fucking tree you get into. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, I, I like how While they're Tallulah arguing, I'm checking out this door. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Tallulah tries to be nice and Fangtail just throws it back in her face. Look, man, I, I, I de I'm not used to Tallulah giving me... Tallulah? The door, the door looks fine. It, 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 you know, it's, it, it's not trapped, it's not locked. You can't see anything wrong with it. I'm not used to having people give me praise. Do then do something worth praising more often. Oh my god! Are you... And don't shit on it. I walk over to Fangtail and just start like petting her head. There, there. You hear a small, uh, very small. Uh, start scratching under her chin. Is the door fine to open? I'm not a pet. <laughs> but he's like looking at them having their little pet fest down. <laughs> Should we wait I'm for them to finish? Pet, but I'm not, I'm, I'm nah, not they might take forever. Right, so yeah, let's open the door. <laughs> you see in front of you a library. And inside this library are several more skeletons, along with scattered books uh, and papers that definitely do, don't look like they have you know, completely rotted away. The way that uh, you might expect from something old. This looks like this place has been used recently. No rest for the wicked, I guess. Dynamic lighting. Ah, I accidentally put these like, dynamic lighting right layer for some reason. Okay. Don't know how that works, but yeah. So, question: Would I still technically be raging? Uh, no. Unfortunately, your rage would have. This is more than six seconds, so you're you lost your rage when you were putting your kitty. Exactly. <laughs> you're no longer right. raging. Yeah. You do still have your bardic inspiration, which I don't think you've used yet. Though. I've that, not used it yet. That no. lasts what ten minutes? An hour? I forget what. 
10 minutes, I believe. I, either way, you still have it. How many rages do I get? Three. That's what I thought. I'd keep it, I'd save it as a resource. No, I, I, that's what I was planning on doing, but I couldn't remember how many uh, I had. Two more people haven't, haven't joined the initiative. Missing, Wait, there's more initiative? I'm missing Fainted, Yeah, there's more missing, skeletons. Uh, oh, yay. Initiative. God damn it, dear. Roll initiative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is fighting me. Get your shit together, man. She is fighting me. <laughs> yeah, she always fights someone. Yeah. But is it I'm winning? Just, uh, That's the question. So, Lula, do you rage again or do you drive? Have no, I'm not going to. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, I'll go here. And let me take that off. 17. Nearly enough to, to take the head off of the skeleton. Instead, uh, you managed to clip off one of the, the arms completely. It just goes scattering to the ground, the bits of the fingers separating out and turning into little dice almost. Except without numbers on them. Damn it! Do any of them look like a nap 20? <laughs> <laughs> Hard to tell without numbers. Nori. Uh, gonna go up here and finish the skeleton off, hopefully. Probably not. Oh, wait, oh, no. That doesn't because there's a 13, so... Yeah, yeah didn't think so. Skeleton, you, 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 your mace passes through the space where the arm used to be. And you just, just hear, you just hear Tulula go... <sighs> just barely missed it. I would have hit it if you didn't hit the Skeleton arm. over here comes rushing up with a short sword and attacks that Nori. Stabbing Ow! Right th into the gut. Blood on, on, onto, the <laughs> onto the ground, hitting the little bits of bone that are scattered there. Tallulah's just like shaking her head, like, man, if you just would have fucking stayed back. The other skeleton picked, ha has a short bow. And let's see. Is that the one with the short bow? Yes. And okay. goes for Tallulah. <laughs> Keen. Why did they always roll so low when attacking Tallulah? Keen's gonna shoot at the one that just shot at Tallulah. Okay. Probably this. But he's gonna help Tallulah. Woo! Yeah, because Tallulah totally needs help. Help! <laughs> <Right. laughs> Obviously, I know Keen doesn't know this, but I would have loved the help just now, because I have three attacks. I mean, I can help you. I don't know. I don't know. I just helped Alula because she's uh, tanky, so. And, she, and I, I know. she's also uh, Keen's partner in crime when it comes to uh, stack theft in the office. Well, I know. One sec, just while it's on my mind, though, I want to set up my global real quick. Why do you I'm type so aggressively? Because I'm typing quickly, and I can hear... Uh... Uh, I can because hear he hates his keyboard. He hates his keyboard. Yeah, I can hear Newton upstairs too. Meow. No, I have in my arms, and she's close to the microphone. Does that hit? No, that's not right. Why? Why did it roll eighteen? Yeah, that's not right. Meow. But that does hit. Uh, let me just roll a one d eight real quick. I think I typed eighteen and didn't type the eight for whatever reason. Right, six so piercing, damage. six force. So the of damage against that, it's still up. All right. But it's most of its ribs are gone. Oh. Three damage. Ignore the force. I forgot and to take off the modifier. You the next one, you basically just smash it back into the wall, and it shatters. All right. I'll move here, and for my bonus action, I will actually throw my offhand short sword at that. You I think it's already the had two attacks. Where do you have I have my bonus action. Oh, okay. With Dread Ambusher, I get an extra uh, uh, attack in my that... attack action. Wow. Come on, Grizz, don't you know that? Cloud's a Dread Ambusher. Yeah. Well, Grim Stalker, but... I, I, but I quick... learn things more when I play them. I... <laughs> real quick, though, if I throw a weapon that's not light, 
or rather not thrown. It just does like a D4, right? It's just like an improvised attack, basically. Yeah. Oh. So I'm just doing that for the attack roll. Does that hit? Yep, and that does destroy that skeleton because the skeleton's down to 2 HP. You just see it shatter as the uh, the back of the, sh of the sword steward smacks into it in front of Tallulah. Fangtail! Yeah! Watch this. 15 feet. 30 feet! Boop! Do guess what? You have met your maker! Uh... <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> that's supposed to be an anime power up. And it uh, it was actually powered down. Your, your, your short sword basically manages to go right through a couple of the ribs, not touching any of the bone, thereby doing no damage at all to the skeleton. Um, then, um, I'm just gonna bonus action, uh, 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 <laughs> disengage. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the fuck out of that. I'm just gonna, you know, get to this corner here. Fuck Bye. this shit, I'm out. You got this, Tallulah! Remember my singing! And fires <laughs> a, a, a short bow at the skeleton. And once again, she finally sees Miss Tallulah. Tallulah just sighs, walks over here. <laughs> Seventeen and twelve slashing. That hits doing massive amounts of damage, but not quite destroying it. Tulula looks at Nori. She's softening <laughs> up for you, Nori. You can do it. <laughs> All I have to do it's is fun. hit it. <laughs> oh, just just do an actual punch. If only Tulula went. Just you know, so I, if only Tulula could have given me a vantage. Yeah. Make this. Easier. <laughs> can can he make a flick attack to flick it? I, mean, off I just need to do one damage, don't I? Most likely. Come on. Photo radiance. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, if it's hit with his con save. Oh. <laughs> Thank God. You say no, I succeeded, thank you very much. So that would have been funny, though, if you'd done that and it still stayed upright. To <laughs> would have dropped her shorts and let her great friend walk away. Like... All right, I mean, it's so... better than trying to attack it without advantage. So this room, a book's list scattered about. Um, while some of them are old and decayed, others look like, you know, th they are not quite nearly as old. Maybe, you know, a century at most. Uh... Many are dusty, but some uh, are laying like about on the on the uh, desktop as you look around. Uh, I'm just going to start picking up books. Are, are, some of them are uh, covered in bits of skeleton dust. Yeah, Keen is going to sniff around. Do I yeah. see any pens? No. Nora's just going. Nora's just going to look for anything important. Yeah. Well, Lula, you you keep picking up. Rotting books and they keep falling apart. I'm gonna do I just imagine two little saying, Yep, that's a table. Wow. Yeah, that's that's definitely a table. Did you also know that the floor is the floor? Really? No, I had to know this. Oh, pretty uh, poorly on my investigation. So, so, Keen, as you're searching through one of the books that looks like it's been there most recently, a note falls into your hands. Gonna look at this note. Hopefully, it's in a language he can read. It's in common, and it's currently in your handouts. Tulu looks at Nori. Uh, so is like your patron pissed off at you or something? Or are you just do you do you just miss a lot? Listen, I'm a little out of practice. Okay. A little. Yes. A, a little. Just give it a moment and I'm pretty sure I'll be back to hitting normally. You can see Tallulah counting the time he's missed. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Listen, that last... If I will, If you didn't chop off that arm, I would have hit it. 
Okay, so you want me to not do damage to it. <laughs> Alright, fine. Fine, I'll let you go first. I'm time. just... Nope, you can walk in ahead of me and take them all out. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. You can I do go. it. I go over and pick it up. <coughs> Let me put it this way, Nori. The cat is better in combat than you. Excuse me. Ow. And she runs away. Cat can't heal, though, can it? No. Hey, do you have nine lives? Oh, no. Are you sure? What? No. I always thought what that I... uh, Tabaxi should get her racial, racial, like, nine death saves. <laughs> that would be really cool. The only problem is that that would be a permanent thing, rather than it resets every time they, they, nearly, they get picked up again. Do we notice that Keen's reading a note? Lori, protect me. Uh, you're on your own. Unless, unless you're hiding it from everybody, I imagine... I know, he's just looking at it. Yeah, they were all And frowning. It. So, what does it say, Keen? My dear apprentice, don't forget to lead them to the caves in the Oddling Mountains. They seem ripe for turning. Uh... I don't know who they're talking about. Is it us? Is it somebody else? Might be someone else, but it's probably in referring to un turning un into undead. Well, at least we have a location we can go to. Nori! Are the Oddling Mountains near here? I I'm assuming they are. They're the ones that the ma that the train's going through, right? Yeah, they're, they're the ones that the... At the you, would, you would all know this, um, except maybe Fangtail, uh, that the Oddling Mountains are the southern border of, uh, of this country. Back to the southern what is it, Tallulah? Do you think we can lock Fangtail in one of these rooms? Hey! I'm right at the doorway! And we're whispering. Oh. Cats have good hearing. Yeah! <laughs> Stop shouting. And do a perception check, goddammit. Oh, I okay. think so. Tallulah just, like, walks over and puts her hand over Fangtail's mouth. Shut up. <laughs> Does the word silence mean anything to you? Starts humming. <laughs> oh my god. Tallulah, <laughs> knock it out. I will rip out your vocal cords. I just can't wait till this country discovers duct tape. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> Did any of us bring some? It'll be really useful right Why now. Why would you... What, what are you doing to ducks? Did anybody bring glue? <laughs> Super glue, maybe? <laughs> Hilga is just listening to this, and she basically is doing the orcish equivalent of face palming once more. <laughs> Face palms and augish. <laughs> so, uh, do we keep looking around here, or do we go to the mountains? Um, we could continue looking here for more valuables yeah, or information. It's, prob it's probably better to just keep looking here. It might be too late to even save the people. Does anyone else hear a bird out yes. of character? Sorry. You're good. I want to make. I just want to make sure that no one was like dying. <laughs> it's actually uh, <laughs> they have loud birds. Very loud birds. Tail. Hi, Fangtail. No. Hi. Remember, I'm an important asset. You're an asshole, uh, right? Hey, I did better than Nori. Not wrong. Not wrong. So, um, kind of is down valuable. this away. Where are we going to end? Because it's 10 o'clock. Um, I was just trying to um, see.
see where everybody was going character wise. And before we open the door, find out on the next episode of D and D: The Skeleton Army. <laughs> More or less, and with that, we are off. <sighs>